going to sell a tarantula. Hello. Hi guys. Whoa, we can hear us in the studio. Yeah, I'm noticing that. It's wild. Like that. Uh, can you hear us? Let's see, we got a mute monkey in the chat. Hey, hey, mute monkey. As well as K Weeb. It's a classic. They can hear us. Y'all can hear us. I'm going to try to make it so that they can't hear us through the headphones. Here's yes. Through. Special sound stuff. Well, thanks for joining us tonight. We're going to play some uh, VR games, starting with Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. Uh, check the chat for the link for the PDF that you will be using to help us defuse bombs. Plus, Jake bought some uh, cheap, really cheap VR games, and uh, we'll, we'll see what the hell they are. Meanwhile, while Jake is setting up, I'm playing Animal Crossing. I just, I got a tarantula. Pretty cool. Do you guys like tarantulas? Sound off in the chat if you like tarantulas. Press one if you like tarantulas, and two if you want to you want to throw them away. Two's for throwing away tarantulas. And one is how's our social distance going? Ah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'd say it, it, it's solid. We're really, I mean, like you know, we've relinquished ourselves to. Our housemates, which is there's a total of what six of us now. Hell yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and so it's the only contact we have. Um, so outside of that, except for the male person and the male person and our landlord who comes by and just kind of wanders around a little bit here and there. And the guys next door. And, and the guys next door who we high five with all the time. And the milkman, ice and the, man. And the milkman who we high five with as well. The ice man. Yeah. And the, <laughs> the ice delivery ice man, man comes by and we have to high five him and the. In the streets, yes. Uh, no, we're doing okay. How about you out there? Hope, hope you're all safe and healthy and, and happy. Stay healthy. Thank you, a Mute Monkey. I really appreciate that. We all do. All right, we're going to mute the audio for just a second while I fix it. That's fine. So, um, I have some hot takes. Uh, all right, say them right now, Rocky. Cool. Okay, great. So my bit. <laughs> oh, it's oh. so like that. Oh. Okay, stand by. Oh. So loud. Are you muted now? Uh, no, it's it's not muted now. Uh oh. They're gonna hear all the opinions I have on every single person in the chat. Um, let's see here. How can I fix this? This is no longer a VR stream. This is now a let's uh, make the stream work stream. Okay, how about now? Can you guys still hear us now? Let's see. Can we and sound or up, sound up if you can hear monkey, us. can you hear us? Everyone, we are live. This is a real DIY stream. DIY? Like Animal Crossing? Can you still hear us? Hello, it's me, Jake. We got a yeah, and we got a can, uh, can't hear you. Yes, okay, yeah. I fixed it. Okay. The, con the content so far is riveting. We know. Quality content. It's right. going to get even crazier. I'm going to throw this on. Nuclear Goo can hear you, Jake. Nuclear Goo, what up? Nuclear Goo. Welcome. I'm going to be the first bomb diffuser. Yes, yeah, so we're playing Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. If I'm you're not wearing familiar. my golfing finest right now because we might do some VR golf later on tonight. Are. Okay, that's good and loud. Cool. So yeah, you can't just even. Perfect. And we got a 10 out of 10 content from KW. Thank you. Content is 10 out of 10. If you have not played this game, uh, Jake will be looking at a bomb that you can see. I can't. So you have to tell me in the chat what to tell Jake in order to defuse the bomb. There's like a lot of codes and corresponding visuals and colors and numbers and whatnot that he'll have to pick. A lot of different puzzles. So uh, All right, we're gonna skip the first two, but we'll start on selection two because I haven't done these. Perfect. So yeah, Jake will describe the bomb to us, or you guys can see it essentially. So you, All know, right. you shout it out. 
Uh, and there's a link to the PDF with the um, bomb diffuser manual. Yes. It should be in the what's happening. We can also post it. I just popped that in there. All right, Rocky, are you ready with the guide? I think so. You, let's uh, let's go to whirl. All right, here we go. We're gonna start. Okay. I love my desk. Thank you for this, Jake. Of course. Only the best. All right, here we go. We're in the room. And okay, you're in a room. Bomb, and a second the lights are going to turn on. Okay, here we go. All right, describe some of these uh, modules. Right. Uh, I got the Simon Says thing, so let's start with that. Simon Says. Let me find it, let me find it, let me find it. Yes. Chris is here too, by the way. And also Chris is here, but he's playing NHL. And Great. don't forget. So, so uh, I got a green light blinking on my uh, on my Simon Says pad here. Okay, um, can you find the serial number on your bomb? Let me check. Yeah. Serial number is 2P5HE4. That's a vowel. That is a vowel. Okay, great. So we're gonna, so green light. Yes. Hit yellow. Hitting yellow now. I hit yellow. Okay. okay now we've got green, yellow. Green, yellow. Yes. Shit. Okay, so yellow, green. Hitting yellow, green. I hit yellow, green. Okay, we're looking good. Now I've got green, yellow, green. Yellow, green, yellow. Yellow, green, yellow. Okay, we're looking good. Green, yellow, green, green. Yellow, green, yellow, yellow. Yellow, green, yellow, yellow. Okay, might be one more. Green, yellow, green, green, green. Yellow, green, yellow, yellow, yellow. Yellow, green, yellow, yellow. It makes it easier. Stress yellow. is hard. All right, that one's done. All right, let's move on to the wires. I got some wires got here. Got some wires? How many wires you got, Jake? Total wires is six wires. You got six wires. Okay. Are there any yellow wires? There are no yellow wires. Is the last digit of your serial number odd? No, it's even. Uh, there's exact... If there's uh, no... Hmm... Okay, sorry. Uh, it's okay, we've got three minutes and 12 seconds. If there are no yellow wires and the last digit of the serial number is odd, cut the third wire, okay, but it's, it's odd. It's even, the okay. serial number is even. Otherwise, if there's exactly one yellow wire and there's more than one white wire. There are no yellow wires. Cut, okay. Otherwise, if there are no red wires. No red wires. Cut the last wire. Cutting the last wire. All right, we're good. Okay. That module done? That module's done, we've got one more. Okay, great. Okay, we've got symbols here. We've got four sort of like hieroglyphic -y type symbols. Great, can you describe them to me? Yes, okay. The top left symbol is like, I think it's Omega. It's like a horseshoe basically facing down. A horseshoe face, okay, great. Yeah, um, then we've got a inverted, like a backwards E with an umlaut on top. Okay. And then we've got a, uh, like an H or a puzzle piece, it's on an angle. It's like one line crossing between two lines. Is it like a unibrow on top? No, no unibrow. It's just like an H where the middle part. Oh, great! Goes it's like half a through. hashtag. Yes. Yeah, okay, like got half it. Hashtag. Yeah. And then the last one is a like a backwards capital N with yeah, got it. Like a smiley. Umlaut. I know where you are. It's an E with the umlaut first. Okay, E with umlaut. Check. Followed by the half hashtag. Half hashtag. Check. Followed by the N. N, check. And Omega. And Omega. -ta. And just like that, what we can defuse bombs. 57 left to go. That was sick. That was really good. That was really good. That was an easy one. So, folks, if you want to help, so that's how it's done. done. Yeah. Um, that was insanely nerve wracking. Chris, if you want to hop in here at any time, you're more than welcome to. Oh, yes. sure, I'll give one. one Everybody second. just made a very significant trade. Okay, we have an update on Chris's NHL career, actually. I just traded for Dylan Strome. All right, so Chris has just traded for Dylan Strome. Who did you trade for him? Um, I traded a non-existent computer-generated draft player that was very good. Okay, so Tyson Jost. A fantastic Tyson Jost. AI. He's related to Colin, right? No, unfortunately not. Okay. But would they be like seen hanging out with like Scarlett Johansson at a cool bar in New York? He's together? on Colorado Avalanche. Okay, so, so no, probably. Okay. okay, cool, got it. Uh, all right, so we're gonna go on to this next bomb. We're gonna skip. 2.2, we're gonna go directly onto this one that we have not done yet. You fucking madman. All right, right 2.3, ready, Rock? 2.3, let's do it. All right, here we go. I might need your help with this one, folks. I can see you as well as my own manual, so if Here's... you see anything that I'm missing, please yell at me. I'm gonna read this description for you. It says, uh, one step up. For those who haven't made it this far and want something tougher, but not too tough. Okay, that's pretty easy. That's we got five minutes, classic. four modules, and three strikes. All right, here we go, ready? 
I am ready. Although Jimmy Jam makes a good point. Cab, you believe Scarlett Johansson gets banged by some nerd on SNL? No. And no. And no. And I refuse to believe it. And actually, I don't believe it. Did you know that Emma true. Stone's husband is also a writer for Saturday? Yeah, Dave Friday. McCreary, who directed Briggs and Bear, which is a great movie. All right, we're lit here, Rock. All right, we're lit. Okay, we're going to start with this big button. I've got a big button. Big button. It's white, Classic. and it says hold. Hold. Okay, great. Big old button. White button says hold. Uh, if the butt is a button blue. No, it is white. Okay. Uh, hold on, looking for the. Hold. Okay, the button is a red. It's white. It is a white button, and it says hold. What does it say? And it says hold on the white button. <laughs> okay. Uh, hold the button. Hold, hold the button. button. Yeah. Which one? Holding the button. Okay. Um, start holding the button down. The colored strip will light up on the right yes, side of the module. Yes, the colored strip is a yellow colored strip. Release the countdown timer when it has a five in any position. When there's a five in any position, yeah. I will release this button. Yes. And I will be releasing it now. All right, we're done with that Phew! one. Okay. okay, now let's go to the hieroglyphics. We got hieroglyphics Beautiful. symbols again. All right, describe them. All right, first one is like the Disney D. It's sort of like a swoopy, loopy, kind of swirly loop. Swoopy sort of loopy, thing. swirly loop. Uh, it's like maybe like a double, eh, not really a double. It looks like a G or a six. Yeah, eh, kind of, yeah. Okay, I see it. All okay, right, cool. Then yeah. we've got backward C with a dot in the middle. That, yep, got it. we got star. Yep, I know. And we've got E with the umlaut. Backwards Perfect. E. Start with the E with the umlaut. Starting with E with umlaut. Got it. Do the C with the dot in the middle. C with it. dot. Check. Disney. Disney. Check. Star. Star. Got it. Moving on. Uh, okay, we've got a numbers here. We've got four numbers underneath, like a screen, and then there's a, a bigger number on the screen above with a two in the middle. Got it. Okay, this one's kind of hard. Uh, so what's the what's the number on the okay. screen? Okay, so the number on the screen is two, and the numbers beneath beneath it are one, four, three, two. Display is one, press the button in the second position, which is... Okay, wait, but it displays a two. Displays a two. It displays a two at the top. All right, uh, then press this, the button in the second position, which is... Which is a four. A four, got it. Okay, okay, I'm pressing that button now. Okay, we got the four. Okay, great, now it says... What now is the it? button being, dis or the number being displayed is a four. Four, press the button in the same position as you pressed in stage one, so the second Okay. One. What so number is that? That is a three. It's a three now. Great. What's now the, the number being displayed is a three. Press the button in the third position. Third position. That button is a one. One. Done. Okay. Now the number being displayed is a two. Press the button in the first position, which is... Button in the first position is a three. Three. Okay. And last but uh, number being displayed is a four. This is stage f five, right? This right. is stage five, correct. Okay. It's a four. The press number... the button with the same label you pressed in stage three, uh... which was a one. I think that's right. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Boom. Woo! All right, we got one, uh, one thing left, and it's the like puzzle with the dots. There's like a bunch. It's a grid of a bunch of dots. I have like a white dot here. Uh -oh. and there's like a green circle. Never done these. Great job, nuclear goo. I was not. I'm sorry. Okay, it's a maze. Okay, great. It seems like a maze. Yeah. Find the maze of the matching circular markings. Okay, so I've got two circular markings here, two green circular markings. Where are they? Okay, the first one is uh, three across and two down. Three across, two down. Starting from the top left. Okay, and then the, the second one? The second one is first column. Yeah. Uh, fifth. Second to last from the bottom. Got it, okay, yeah. I know that, yeah. Great, so um, you must navigate the white light to the red using the navigation. Do not cross lines in the maze. Oh shit, okay. Um, well, my, I just, I my, just, I have the maze. I don't know what to do with it. Okay, well, I've got a white dot, so I just need, have to know where these walls are. If, if we know the shape. Oh, my, great. My white, yeah. I'm trying to get to this red oh, triangle, okay. I assume. Starting from. White dot is in uh, second column, yeah. first row. So go down one? Down one. Left three, or all the way to the wall. I'm I'm already pretty much up against the wall with one more. If I go if I go one to the left, I will now be I get, two I, down and one over. Okay, hold on. Yeah, so from that dot in the second column, we have to go down one. Down one more. Okay. Over, over two. Over which way? Left. I only have one space to go to the left. Okay, go there then. Okay, now I'm. And okay. then down two. Now, okay. That's it. Now I'm just in the middle of a green circle. Are you serious? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, Shoot. Um, now I am. Now I'm in the green circle. Five, five down and one over. Five so thirty down, seconds. Five down, one over. Okay, great. Go down one. Down one. Now I'm in the bottom left corner. Yeah, go up. 
going back up. Now I'm in the bottom. That's where you're supposed to be based on your description. Shit. Uh, All right. Okay. Shit. Um, Chat, help us. We have 10 seconds. All right, go up two. Going up two. I'm going to the right towards the triangle. Yeah, go to the right twice. And then go up once. Nope, going up once. Ah! Oh. We're boned. It was nice knowing you, Jake. Yeah, I'll let your family know. And I am dead. And, I am and we've killed Jake for everything now. Blood and bone sort of We worked around. so hard on that memory pu puzzle. That one Time remaining just zero. donked us. We got on. Um, All right, so hold on. Let's, uh, can you... You can retry. I was going to say, I just want to show you the... I don't know. I guess I should try. I don't want to see it. You don't want to see it. We don't even have show. that one on this next... On this next uh, Bomb. Shit. Okay. We're right. starting. Here we go. We got Simon Says. Simon Says. I'm going up. I'm going up. I'm going up. Uh, what is the color? The color that is beeping currently is. Uh, it's not. Oh, blue. Blue is beeping. Okay. Great. Uh, does your serial number have a vowel in it? Uh, no, it does not have a vowel. It does not contain a vowel, and it's flashing blue. You say it is flashing blue. Hit yellow. Hitting yellow. Yellow hit. Great. Now we got blue, yellow. Yellow, red. Yellow, red. Now we got blue, yellow, yellow. Yellow, red, red. Yellow, red, red. Now we got blue, yellow, yellow, red. Blue, so yellow, red, red, blue. Yellow, red, red, blue. Yellow, yellow, red, blue. Yellow, red, red, blue, yellow. Yellow, red, red, blue, yellow. All right, that one's done. Let's go Perfect. to wires. Wires. I great. got four wires total. Three red, one black. Three, four wires total. If there's more than one red wire, there is. The, and is the last digit of your serial number odd? Yes, it is. Cut the last red wire. Cutting the last red wire. Boom. Done. We got numbers with the display at the top. Okay, great. Let's uh, do this one again. Uh, Okay, what's the number? Number displayed at the top is two. Two. Press the button in the second position. Pressing. Is... That digit is a one. Okay. Number displayed at the top is a three. Uh, press the button in the first position. That button is a three. Okay. Uh, top position is a two now. Press the button with the same label as you pressed in stage one, which is one, I believe. One, correct. Doing a one again. What position was that in? That was in position one. Okay. Uh, now we are having a four displayed at the top. Press the button in the same position as you pressed in stage two, which was the first position. Uh, okay, so that will be a three again. Correct. Okay. And we've got the last display digit, which is two. Press the button with the same label as you pressed in stage two, which is the first position. First position is a two again. What? That was wrong. Now we've got a three. Oh, we got to start over. We got a three at the top. Okay, fine. Uh, third, third position. Third position is a one. Great. And notes it down. Now it's a three being displayed. Press the button in the first position. First position is a four. Okay. Now? Uh, four is being displayed. Press the button labeled four. Pressing label four, which was in second position. Okay. Uh, now? Uh, display three. Press the button in the same position as you pressed in stage two, which is the first. First position. Now that is a two. Correct. Last one. Okay. Uh, number being displayed is a one. Pr press the button with the same label you pressed in stage one, which was one. One. Boom, we're good. Okay, okay last one is the symbols again. Hieroglyphic things. These are easy, great. Okay, we've got uh, upside down question mark. Okay. Smiley face with tongue sticking out. Okay. Uh, uh, little virus guy holding a staff right side up. Okay. And a B with like... Uh, a T in it? Yeah, with a T in it. Start with that B with the T in it? Starting with B with T. Then virus. Virus. Then question mark. Question mark. And smiley face. Smiley face. <laughs> And big yoinks on that one. Big yoinks. I'm putting big yoinks in the chat here. Suck it, bomb. All right, we bodied that one. Defused. We're Let's getting go. better at this, folks. That was easy. All right, I got one more in me, I think, and then we'll swap it up. Sounds good. Oh. Nuclear goo, thank oh. you for your help with that. Thank you, goo man. All right, here we go. We got this. We can do one more. All right, we're going 2.4 here, picking up the pace. We only have three minutes for this one. 
But we only have three modules, so it should be easy. Okay. All right, three minutes, three modules, three strikes. Well, Nuclear Goo, thank you for the helping us last time. I'm just, I appreciate you being here. It really means a lot. All right, ready? Let's do it. Here we go. Three minutes. Three men. Three Fucking things. got this. Okay, lights are coming on. Lights are on. Okay, lights we're going to start with, uh, let's start with the maze this time. We got it again. Let's oh, boy. Play. Here we okay. go. Okay, describe to me where the, uh... The two circles are. Okay, I've got one green circle that is second row down. Second row down. And third column over. Third column over, okay. Okay, and then the second green circle is first column over, so yeah. very first column. Yeah, and then the fifth and then down. And the fifth down. Again. Okay, where's your triangle? My triangle is just below that first circle, so it's three, three. Three, three. Come Great. from the top line. Try, so you, do you need to hit both circles, basically? I think I just have to get my little white circle thing into the red triangle. But there's a maze. There's walls that I can't Where's hit. the white circle? White circle is in the very bottom rightmost corner. Okay. Go left one. Left one. Uh, let me switch hands here. Left one. Boom. Okay. Up one. Up one. Left one. Left one. Down one. Down one. Left one. Left one. Up two. Up two. Right one. Right one. Up one. Up one. Right one. Right one. Up two. Up two. Left three. Left three. Down one. Down one. Down one. Down another one. Right one. Right one. Boom! Done! Okay, cool. Good job. All right, now we've got a big button. It says hold and it's yellow. Hold and it's yellow. Big old button saying hold and yellow. Right, hold on, I'm on. The Got a minute and a half, we're halfway done. Okay, it's, uh, the button is yellow. It is. Hold the button and, hold the button. Holding button. What's the strip color? Strip color is red. Uh, release when the countdown timer has a one in any position. Done, okay, last one. Uh, we've got words here. They're like there, nothing, first, okay, blank. Great. Um, is it like one big word on top? Yep, one okay, big word great. on top. What is that? It? That word is there, the contraction they are. So with the apostrophe R E. Bottom left. Bottom left. That is okay. No, that was wrong. Shit. Okay, hold on. Uh, you got one minute. Okay, using this this, this button label press. So step two. Okay, there, and then uh, one second. A Y R. Oh my God, where is it? Holy shit, this puzzle's hard. First button appears in the corresponding list. Wow. Okay, what are the words? Okay, I've got what? Question mark? Like? Uh-oh. Uh, sorry. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. Next. You and your Y-O-U-R. Press the first button. That, uh, okay, press uh, you. You. Nah, that's wrong. Yeah. Okay. Got five seconds. I well, okay. Got sorry, dude. I'm just gonna hit buttons. <laughs> <laughs> I did oh. not get that one. Oh goddamn! All right, well, we figured out the puzzle one. Yeah, least. that was good. The maze one. Sorry, Aiden. I I made, made it so tense that you had to. Pee. All right, let's retry that one. Yeah. Okay. I want to go out on a wait if I'm gonna go out. Yeah, we gotta get that big W. All right, we're trying again. This one's three modules again. Oh, we got those words again, I think. Oh, boy. Okay, hold All on. right, we're going to start, let's start with the that. words. We're going to start with the hard one. Okay, great. All right, the word being displayed is nothing. Nothing. And the, the other words that I have, let me know when you're ready for those. Use the button label. Use it using step two. Uh, okay, repeat until the modules are disarmed. Okay, great. So what is the um, second row left side? What's second the row left side is okay. The word okay, okay, a y. Okay, great. Um, press the first button that appears in the corresponding list. Is middle in there? Uh, yes, it's bottom Hit right. Hit middle. I'm hitting middle. That was correct. Okay, Good great. job. Now the word being displayed is your spelled you are. You are. Like two words. No, it's it's one. It's like a abbreviation. No, 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 no. Just two letters. You, the letter U and the letter R. Oh, okay, gotcha. Like your, okay, got it. Um, top left. Top left is the word done. I'm going to hit it. That no, 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 no. I didn't mean that. Is it a different word now? It is a different word. What is it? It's there, T-H-E-I-R. Okay, great. What is the second row right side? Second row right side is the word like, L-I-K-E. L-I-K-E. Uh, hit your with uh, apostrophe R-E. I don't have that. You don't have that? Uh-huh. What's the big word on top? The word on top is T-H-E-I-R. And then, so second row, right side. Second row, right side uh, is like, L-I-K-E. 
says push first button that appears in the corresponding list. Like, like we already have like an X or if oh, we I guess a strike, does that affect anything? No, no we, we don't, don't have an X. X. U, the letter U. I have the letter U. Hit it. Oh, we got it. I understand this now. Great. Okay, now we've got they are two words, T-H-E-Y space A-R-E. Second row left side. Second row left side is ready. Ready, okay. Is the word yes in there? No. Is the word okay in there? No. What? Uh, yes, W-H-A-T. Yeah, take it. Boom, we're good. Okay, we got Simon Says. We gotta do it quick. All right. Uh, the red is flashing. Is the serial number containing a vowel? Uh, yes, it is. We also have one strike to be mindful of Okay, that. great. So what, what color is the flashing? Red is flashing. Hit yellow. Yellow. Wrong. What? We have two strikes now, so okay. be What's mindful flashing of that. Now? That might affect it. Red is still flashing. Okay, hit green. Green. What the fuck? I think if there are strikes, it changes. I'm following that. Are oh, you sure okay. it contained a vowel? Yeah, it has a... Oh, uh, maybe I looked at the wrong number, actually. Oh, I might have looked at the wrong thing. Maybe. All right, one more try. One more, we're going to get this W. Chat, was I looking at the serial number when I saw that? It was only three Did letters. Did anyone so see a vowel in that serial number? Roast Jake in the chat. Please roast my shit. Okay, we're starting. Great, what is it? Uh, numbers, again, with the one one number at the top and four below it. Okay, uh, what is the number? Number is four. Four. Uh, hit the button in the fourth position. Fourth position is three. That was correct. Okay. Uh, number being displayed is three. Press the button in the first position. First position is also a three. That Great. was correct. Great. Number being displayed is a one. A one. Uh, press the button with the same label as you pressed in stage two, which is a three. Correct. That's now in, in uh, the first position. First position. Okay, great. Uh, uh, now it's displaying a four. Press the button in the same position as you pressed in stage two, which is uh, first position. First position is a four. Okay. Got it. Last one. Well, what's the number? One is the number. Press the button with the same label you pressed in stage one, which is a three. Three. Boom. Done. Oh. Okay. Now we've got the words like you are, your, what, etc. Okay. Great. What is the word on top? Uh, the word. There is no word on top. Okay. That's fine. Um, Jake, it's fine. Okay. Great. Um, bottom left. Bottom left is the word hold, H O L D. H O L D. Uh, great. Uh, the, are the words you are in there? Yes, they are. Hit that. Okay. Uh, now we've got the word being displayed is your, you, letter U, letter R. Great. Top left. Top left is the word right, R I G H T. Is the word yes in there? No, uh, yes it is. Yes, hit it. Got it. Okay, one more. Word? Uh, word is red, R-E-D. R-E-D, great. Ba uh, second row, right side. Second row, right side is uh, uh, U-H space, U-H space. Or, yeah, I guess there's no U -H space after. U-H, U-H? Uh, U-H. Or it's uh, uh. Yes, correct. U-R, the, the letters. U-R, the letters. Boom, we're good. Last great. one is symbols, uh, hieroglyphics. Perfect. Okay, Tell the me. first symbol is A-E, lowercase, connected to each okay. other. Okay, yeah. Uh, this other one is like a pitchfork, or, or like a W with a little stick okay. underneath yeah. it. Uh, then there's like a six that has kind of like been squished from the top. I know the one. And then there's uh, the backwards N with the smiley umlaut on Perfect. top. Perfect, let's do the six first. Six first. Let's do the A-E. A-E, bomb. Do the W. W, and yes. The and the N. Woo! 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 Big haws in the chat, please. Thank you for believing in us, Aiden. Thank you, chat, for believing. Thank you, Thank you for Jimmy Jam belief. and Freaky Fumikage. <laughs> yes, thank you to everybody. Jake, it's the Greek letter Psi, the little trident thing. So you learn something every day. I'm learning. You never in a, you weren't in a frat, were you in college? Uh, no, I was not. Am I frozen? Oh. Uh, you Are might we be all frozen. I'm frozen. Let me. Uh, Are we frozen? Chat. Let us know if we're frozen. Big I know the answer. video isn't frozen. Um, let me try to fix that. All good. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, I just took off the stream. Should we do some golf now? We could try some golf. All right. Cool. We're gonna fly in. Friend of the show. Everything now. Paven. Stand by for unfreeze. And we're also gonna be unfrozen. You are frozen. I was wondering what was happening. It was a cool comedic trick. It was just a big joke. And we're back. All right, Aiden, I'm got... sorry I haven't been to your island yet. I promise we'll do an Animal Crossing stream sometime soon. Um, I'm opening up resident services tomorrow on my island. Very excited. I'll get to meet this. Well, actually, no, it's under construction. But I'll soon get to meet this Isabella I've heard so much about. 
Oh, thank you for helping me defuse that bomb, everybody. And we're oh, getting, here's our golfer. And we're getting lauded for our frozen bit. Oh, yeah. That was a classic bit. A classic Andy Kaufman bit. Uh, as far as having your video suddenly frozen, that wasn't the worst frame. Okay. All right. Jump in. What's up, folks? Right. Folks, folks. Hey, folks. This is Payton. What's up, folks? <laughs> Hello, folks. Want to take that again, Payton? Uh, all right. No. Oh, where am I? You're in the, bomb in the bomb diffuser, <laughs> so if you go to your menu. Oh, shit. And, right. uh, and they're going to set that up while I'm playing home. more Animal Crossing. You need to go home. to the Steam app, right? Yeah, you got to go to Steam. All right. Folks, there's an Emperor Butterfly outside my neighbor's house. I'm going to go ahead and catch it. I'll let you know how it goes. Folks, we got Emperor Butterflies on deck. Ladies and gentlemen, I caught the Emperor Butterfly. And here we are. Let me zoom on you. Let's go ahead and can I go over here? zoom in on my uh, ass. You can go wherever you want, baby. Oh, okay. All right. I'm Folks, it is not your average monarch. You really still can't see it very well. Please note. Rest assured. I caught an emperor butterfly. You got it. And Kayden, this is not golf. <laughs> golf right. has guns. I'm, I'm good with this. I have not met Isabel. I am, I'm very slow at this game. Uh, I just need you to come to my island even just for once for like five seconds so I can start sending you presents in the mail. That's very nice of you. We should become best friends and then we can start a correspondence. Yes. I just met Isabella today. Or Isabel. Lucky. Well, Isabella. Look at this guy. Oh, uh, yeah? Are you crushing it right now? No, I'm just not hitting him. Chris, oh, how is the NHL going in your world? Uh, I might not make the playoffs, but I'm going to do a little more playing. Okay. okay. So Chris might not make right. the playoffs in his simulated NHL right. you want to career. Bring up your menu, Paven. It is unfortunate, but we hope for the best for him. And go to Steam VR. It's right in front of you. Yes, I'm no, not going to Did I put the right thing? That's it loading? Be, yeah, it's just loading, I think. All right, okay. You might need to here. I might need to relog you into Steam. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, I'm you, back in the bar. Oh, you I really, I really fucked, fucked up now. here. All right, All right. Pavin's in the Matrix. I don't know yeah, how to operate right. in this sphere. I'm and gonna I, take you to Steam VR. Just hang tight. I just learned the DIY recipe for a large cardboard box. So think about that. All right, I'm just gonna go, go back into. Like, oops. Just be cool. You're frozen, but I'm gonna. Oh, here we go. I played like every Animal Crossing game since the GameCube version, so I'm very familiar with the series, and it's fun to watch folks discover it for the first time. Yeah, I, I've known a lot of it through pop culture mainly and the internet. Um, so seeing all these characters come to life has been very fun. Haven is going into VR in VR. This is insane. This, this is illegal. Actually, you want you want to go to Steam? All right, that's fine. Jimmy Jam has chips, and we're gonna figure out what kind of chips he has. <laughs> Just reading stuff. You gotta go to sleep. My bet is on kettle. I'm gonna say backyard barbecue flavored. This is really scary right yeah, here. So Holy scary. shit, this is so scary. You can do it where you're like off the thing. Oh my god, oh my I, god. Do not, I do and not Kevin like this. And is testing his Kevin, fear of heights. Make you play, I don't uh, like this at all. Right Holy now. crap. Ruffles is, plain no, chips. No, you're not making me play that. Ruffles are the best potato chip in my opinion. Yeah, I agree with that. My, my mom is obsessed with Ruffles. Though. They're the best. I'm so weird about Ruffles, I eat them like by the ridge. Here? Holy hell, I, I am on the off edge right now. This is so scary. Maybe you'll get to see me eat a ruffle I'm a little not a bit later. Fan of this. Who knows? I'm going over here. Yes, if you donate one hundred dollars to the stream, Rocky will eat a ruffle live on, on screen. I can't guarantee nothing, but if you uh if you want. Okay, right, we're ready for you now. All right. And now we're gonna do Who's some that golf. That's nobody. He's shooting at no one. We're gonna play some golf, I believe. I, I haven't seen this yet, but I've heard it's good. Yeah, this golf, uh just to preface it is is extremely advanced. I love it. Like, it's pretty hard. Can I play some Beat Saber later? Absolutely. Hell yeah. Actually, I might need to close this one more time. How do I do this? I don't know why it's not working. Stand by. Right. And we're standing by. Folks, I'm getting into the flowers in Animal Crossing. It is very fun. I'm trying to crossbreed to get some green and pink mums. We'll see how it goes overnight. <laughs> Oh, I, there's Whoa, a tiger what beetle in front of my house. What did I just do? Whoa! Do you know about this? I know about that. Did you, you know about shoot this? Shoot it off. Yeah, you can. That's how you like place objects in that world. So, I'm gonna send it over there. This is not working though. I'm gonna send it back. Folks, I caught a tiger beetle, and I have all right a little bit of time before I can. Oh, it just dropped off the edge of the world. Oh God! I, oh, this is so scary. I, <laughs> I just I don't know about this. Yeah, that's <laughs> scary. I don't know why I still go here. That's what VR is for. It's for facing your fears. 
Holy mackerel. Nothing can actually happen to you, but it is scary. Everybody stand by. And we're continuing to stand by. This Timmy is, Nook is willing to give me some Nothing money for these bugs that I caught. Timmy. All right. Hey, I can't shoot with that hand. Are you left-handed, If, left if this accuracy, no, but if this accuracy is any indication of my golf oh boy. playing abilities. Yeah, we are boned. We are not going to make it. Big to surprise. The, <laughs> what's the golfing Stanley Cup? Uh, uh, the Masters. The Masters. The Masters, right. Well, my, I mean, my grandfather watches whoa, that all the time. Look at this. Even if it's Destroying not Destroying our base. It's pretty sick. We share this living room. <laughs> How do I put it down? Just throw it Oh, no, 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 I don't like go. this. I got you. I got you. I fixed it. Oh, I really don't like that. Folks, 5,500 bells. Very sick as fuck. Pretty good but price. Not in a good way. Oh, whoa, I was facing the wrong way the whole time. Now you're properly right. oriented. And don't you feel like a goof. So check this out. Take us to tea time. Tea time golf. golf. Great name. All right. I do not believe he can fall in VR, at least in the main living room. But there are some game slash simulations I'm that going to update our can't For some reason, I have two golf clubs Thank on. You. Normally, you only have one. I didn't know that. But, yeah. But hey. So, and this what is you, this game called? Tea Time okay Golf. I'm standing here. Is this okay? Because I need to kind of... That's You're great. in the middle of the studio. You're fine. All right, sweet. Um, and folks, it's a studio. Do you still have to Love pay Tom Nook rent on the challenge. first, Wait, or is there more challenges? What is this? Meet Joe Duffy on the front nine. All right, are we, what are we down we for here? Challenge. Scottish links? I think I want to beat Lousy Larry. Yeah, we got to take out. Or Mr. <laughs> Just some um, like Mike Tyson's punch out names. Mr. Moneybags also looks pretty. Good. I got to defeat Glass Joe. But I'm gonna try to beat Lousy. Well, Do it. should I start with the first one? Because I'm really bad at this game. I will Why not? Yeah. All right, I'm going with Lousy Larry. I like that guy more. Also, Sadville PM, uh, it's not a rent-based system. I am paying off loans, though. Uh, but I have two rooms in my house, so that's pretty cool. All right, here we are. And he's golfing now. And we're golfing. And this is... I need to make sure my guy is... I want to change oh, the Oh, Pavin, yeah, you gotta, you gotta look good here. What about dreadlocks? Are those dreads or is the game just really chunky? Uh, like those yeah, are dreads. It's chunky, but those are dreads. And sound cool. off in the chat if you have any suggestions for how our golfer right should look. All right. All right. Is this going to be you or are you going to name this golfer or something different? I don't know if you... I think it's just the name of the Steam gotcha. account. Well, you can give him a name if you want to. Um, clothes, though. I'm going to go with... Hats? Can I yeah. give you a hat? Good, definitely going to want a hat. Good move. Oh, Pfizer's, Pfizer's yeah. Oh, oh it, 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 it gets rid of it. You have some coins, yeah. What's most important, like... I think um, the problem is it gets rid of the dreads if you wear a visor. I think yeah, I'm not gonna wear yeah, a visor. Yeah, keep the hat. I'm gonna wear. Where did my I keep the hair? I'm gonna get a top. That sounds yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Start there. I think polo is about the right. Polo sounds good. Stripe. Yeah. Golfing in a polo. Stripe the edge. I'm gonna do a. Oh shit. Oh, these are all. How much do they cost? I can do a plain polo. Whoa, whoops. Oh shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, you gotta, you gotta buy. Uh, it. What? How do I like just see it? Oh, just hover over. Yeah. What do you think? I like the pink. The oh. light pink is kind of nice. You like the light pink? Where is that? I think it's tasteful. Bottom right? Yeah, that. Yeah. Oh. Wait. That one. This one? That one. The light brown looks like right, you're shirtless, which I also like. That's only 20, so. Easy. All right, let's get some pants in, too. some pants. Right. You guys waving? Give me pants. Right, oh, now, we're, we're, right think, now we're in shorts. We got your shorts, I think, okay, in my opinion. Go. Golfers um, shorts. Bottoms. Knickers? I think knickers. knickers right? All right, let's watch. Yeah, that's golf. What are that's those? golf, right? Those, those are like capris. Like, yeah, capris. Should I do full pink? <laughs> wow, yeah, that's a good look. <laughs> Thank you. All right, yes. I like this look. All right. With the dreads, it really comes together. Yeah, that's I think a I need solid feet. look. Oh, yeah, get some, can you get matching socks and shoes? Pink you socks. Know it. You got to go with the pink socks. Whoa. This man is all pink. All right, and then let's see if we can go one more. How far would it let us basic. take it? Let's check those kicks. Whoa, maybe some, yeah. Oh, yeah, wow. tasteful. I love it. That is a look. And look at that. We've got some money remaining. Boom. But the we're kings, looking good. The kings of the courts. All right, yeah. look at that guy. Yeah, he looks ready to hit the links. Yeah, very cool. All right. He's yeah. like the younger generation's cool golfer. Yes. He's the Beto of golfing. Right. Loading course. Loading course. Cool. Loading course. All right. Loading course. Please, <laughs> This is so... Golf simulation-y. 
We did improv with somebody who works for a All simulation right. and golf And the one thing that's really oh, weird is that Daniel, you're just, Daniel the guy you're playing against oh, really? is just yeah. in your body. Yeah, you got to oh, watch out for that no, guy. He really is not very good. So you switch the club like this. What kind right. of tea time is this? Two people right, golfing on the like same... <laughs> yeah, it's really speed golf. You're... <laughs> yes. <laughs> I play that in real life. This guy right, is so intense. Approaching right. the tea box is Paven Brown. Here we go. Coming up. Where am I going? Uh, in a almost all pink outfit. Oh, we got a driver. light wind, about nine miles per hour, but other than that, clear skies. He's checking the wind with his hand. He's surveying the lot, looking behind him. Right. I don't know how that's going to help. Taking aim. And he's got the patience One more look down. of a tiger. Don't let's see that swing. And oh. a beautiful swing. Let's see. A solid a curve. That was a curve. That was a real curve Hanging over a there. little bit left here, but it Whoops, looks like all over And he's teleporting now. onto the green. Okay. And he is floating around, but he is, right, in fact, on the uh, green. Nine looks nine like a, a solid drive there. Put him right in the middle yeah, of the fairway. Good. I think we're in Scotland, but judging by that windmill, I don't know. It might be just a novelty. Where exactly yeah. we are. And he's going for another hit. Well, let's all right, shake nice it up. Follow up here. A nice soft nine iron shot. And yet it flew. Oh, it's that really like, went flying. Oh, and he overshot oh, it. Just over the He's just it's barely totally near the sand pits. Between right, so I'm going to give it I'm going to give it not too much. And what's the par on this one again, Jake? Oh, oh my god, I really whipped it there. I really whipped it. And he has self on the green. whiffed it. There it is. Okay. And there's the ball. And let's take a look at this putt. It's going to be a long one, but it seems possible. You guys want to Whoops. What am I doing here? Looks like oh, we're yeah. looking so at about I, a It, it always foot sets putt. me on mega putter, but I want... Whatever. He's looking for his way, clubs. He is the way. harassing the other golfers on the green. This yeah, guy... Well, poor etiquette by this, this other golfer. This guy has really poor etiquette. He's standing... He's in the way of my life. Directly right in the way. And Jake, I just gotta way. ask, who is and this guy see. with his entirely pink outfit right, and his yeah. dreads? This go. white man thinking that he can come onto the green. You know, he's go. new on the tour. Uh, his he's attitude. He's a really polarizing figure. Here's oh the putt, though. We'll let that speak for itself. And, of course, he's gone over the pot That was a whiff. Okay, so... An interesting approach. Why am I always on Mega Putter? I don't understand. All right, here we go. And he's yelling at his caddy, just Pulling screaming at him. Check Short this out. putter, and this should be an easy task. This has got to go in. Bogey, I believe. And, and unfortunately, ooh. it has warped right around. Not enough behind the this hole. massive hole. They're now two at, above par. I think yeah, maybe six strokes here. And it's in the hole. And we'll take or a double, double bogey. bogey. Okay, so not a great start. Probably not the start that's that pretty good. I'm pretty for. happy with that. He's the McEnroe of golf, basically. Right, I'm just getting ready. ready. His caddy. I'm just getting ready. I'm not the McEnroe of golf. I'm just gonna play it cool. Alright. Is that you? No, that was, <laughs> that was the other guy. That was this guy right here. Ah! In Whoa! Buddy. Hey, buddy. These golfers are getting real close to each other. Oh, Jake. and he's gone. And he's gone. He's gone to go All find right. his ball. And I, oh, yeah, and I can go up here and check and out the And Pavin is course. transcending the field. <laughs> Taking Look a chance this. to really survey the course. Look at all that. I'm worried about that. This was deemed to be illegal at one point in the game, but... Yeah. Yeah. Yes, due to a recent rule change, this players is, are now able to teleport and float country. above. This is Scotland right here. This is what Scotland is. The beautiful Scottish Scottish, countryside. Scottish the ocean plains. not in sight. No. The Scottish plains off in the distance. Alright, All right. so now we're, here we are on the second tee. Right, he's floated back down to the ground. After a, a weak first hole, oh, and completely man. missing the ball. A Taking a practice swing, gearing up for his second oh, tee that's, up, that's and that's looking, looking like a that's solid That's a rocket, ride. Jake. I gotta say, it looks like he's doing pretty good. Oh, I can watch it. Still on the green. Center of the fairway. You'll love to see it. And he's just hanging out in the hills for some reason now. Okay. Teleporting all, right. all around. You know it does teleport you back to your ball automatically if you just wait. <laughs> and yet, he feels the need to just walk around. And a second shot. Ooh, and a little bit of a good. curve. Looks like he may have just came off Whoa. the toe. Oh, and, Ooh, and just on the rim. Just on the outside of the rough. This is going to be a tricky approach. It could have been worse, but we'll see how he fares in trying to get it back on the green. An impressive recovery. Check out that. And what is the par again on this one? I treat every par like a par five. All right, here we go. Really taking it casually, not worried about the actual game's par. No, all right. And this seems to be some sort of shotgun blast ball. Yeah. It'll spread out. <laughs> <laughs> not accurate, this but it's. into five balls. <laughs> oh, look at that. And he got real close there, just kissing the rim. That was fucked. I don't even know. Where, where does it say what I. Where, where, what stroke I'm on? It doesn't say. And it's in the hole with that's a bogey. Good. A little better it. than the last round, that's for sure. It. He's improving. 
just want to go up here really quick. Oh. Taking this time to explore the course, really critical to make sure that you know the course and you're familiar with every nook and cranny. You can see where all, window. yeah, you can see all where all interlopers may be and might attempt to uh, dissuade you from hitting the ball in good way. All right. Let's, let's I'm go. a golf expert. I'm ready to go. You know, I took golf lessons for. We'll hit at the same time, me and this guy. Yeah, time it out. Synchronized Holy golf. Holy shit, thing. this is a par three. Uh -oh. Par three. I'm going with the driver. That's not good. He's going to try to get all of this one, folks. Let's see. And they oh. call him the baby driver of golf, That's where right. he must listen to music in order to hit the ball good. And how's it landing? This banging song. Not right. bad, right on the, in the yeah, rough, just, just short right, of the green. I want lob He has a good chance here. For and now we're just going to chip it right onto the Let's see if he can serve himself a decent putting Look at that. Look at distance, that. and I'm it seems like he has. That is prime. That oh, is what an approach! And now a that simple tap in hole. should end this hole. An easy par three hit. Let's just take it home, Paven. And somehow, oh! he, misses. And somehow he misses the putt. And that oh! is brutal. You hate to see that on the course. And yet it's not a bogey a recovery, again. A bogey opportunity is not for a par, but a bogey, bogey is still, is is still in it. Yeah, Jimmy Jam says okay, your virtual guy, golf buddy needs to respect your six foot bubble. They're they are not social distancing yeah, out of the screen. This guy, lousy Larry, is he's also he's lousy. Living up to his name. He's about I don't know. I don't know. He's, he's lousy, buddy. Yeah, he's looks like lousy. Pavin is about three right, strokes behind right now, time, but dude. there's a lot of golf left to be played. Oh fuck! And he once again, up, oh, he, it looks like lousy Larry took a terrible swing. An Pavin absolutely dreadful swing. Yeah. Opting to take a couple of practice swings yeah, before practice, to make sure that. Practice swings. Yeah. And, okay. and still practicing. And still practicing to make very sure unsure. That he gets that perfect swing. <laughs> it's very good. And you want to make but sure it's you a take practice. five or six practice swings. <laughs> How about seven? And sure. really keep your eye on that ball. And he's oh, hit it. oh, where did that wide, go? Wide right. And has landed in Wales. Oh, you hate to see it. It sounds like it may have landed in the drink. <laughs> and I think you're back, you're just teeing off in the same spot again because you hit it. And the game feels the so bad for you that you will get to hit the ball once again. From All right, the that's fine. And let's give that one another go. And second hit. And a big donk from Paven Brown. And that's like in much less like it's going to go in the water. And it's actually in deep the in the roughs. Almost this is, invisible. This is some fucked up rough. Let's here. check out this beautiful texture on the Green rough here. my ball. Here it is. We can't even see the ball, folks. Truly dire straits here for Bay, but let's see if he can get out of this. Still one. practicing his swings even in the rough. I love the practice swings. And it looks oh, like yeah. it might go straight Looking into like the Looking like it's going to land on a, another hole. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's all part of the game. It's all right. We're going to play through here. Just right, though he was can bowling. Can here? <laughs> and can he hit from up with there? With his giant golf club. <laughs> And a massive golfer is now destroying and the field. The world's right. biggest golfer. Here we go. Go. Driver? Yes. Opting for his driver out of the rough is an interesting choice. Wisely decides to switch back to a wedge. We're getting word that this is surreal. Okay. Thank you, me monkey. Look at that. That's it. And that. Is this a good recovery? He got under it. Let's see if it's going to carry. And into the next rough. All right. Into the next and rough. Taking sort of a scenic route to the pin on this hole. Here we go. This is going to be a great approach. He's hitting the backboard. In, Look at that. But in golf terms. A beautiful approach, though. Here we go. And I'm, good with, like I'm good with the short the game. The short man. game yeah. is really on point for I got the short today. game. If he can right, just lock preview. down those drives. That. Let's it's see if you can take it home. Really good. Let's see here. This is for I think triple bogey. And for those just joining us, like Aiden Wood, we are doing virtual oh! golf. Oh! Yeah. Rimming around. A and huge an ouch. ouch and a big ouch for that one. Uh, our friend, the, right, whatever. The screen a little bit. Um, our friend Paven is eight. doing virtual Wait, he golf. He did pretty bad too. So. Lousy Larry was lousy. He was pretty bad. Okay, good. All right, we'll hit at the same time again. Uh, Jake and I are commentating on Paven's here game here. And Look a great start. Oh, fuck. Is that my ball? No. Uh, and let's see. Your ball is landing directly in the ocean. And you're, <laughs> you're clipping through the text. Okay, that's cool. 
Is this avant-garde? I like to think so, personally, but also I am full of shit most of the time, so. And is he landing back on the sand? Oh, there it is. That's pretty good. And it's not in the water, so I love can... being in the sand. Yeah. So it's good for the... Okay. For the body? Yeah. Good practice. And a holistic golfer, Paven Brown, is going to see if he can get back on the green. Look at that! That now that's absolutely got all that one, folks. That's a recovery. Out of LaGuardia Look into that. LAX, that thing has soared onto the green. I'll take my trophy, my green. <laughs> he's, he's celebrating already, even though he still has to get it in okay, the hole. I need to get it in the hole. Oh god, look and at this that. This curve seems to be quite menacing. Look at that. Wow. That's a brutal break on this one. And we're just gonna have to hope that the wind is on his side. Oh, oh and not it seems enough. it seems as though it's that just not enough. Too. Although this could be an easier hit. Yeah, this will be good. Check this. And he's asking us to peep this hit with a double bogey. Which he claims are good, but the game is seeming to indicate maybe they're not. Look, yeah, I'm only seven over this guy. Oh, it's not bad. He's lousy Larry. He's even worse than you. Okay, here we go. That's it, boy. Oh, that was and I don't game. think Paven hit his ball. Just practice swing. Look at that. That's better. Oh, than that's a gorgeous sailing curve. And the ball has landed. Where? Oh, come oh, on. Oh, just unfortunately what curved too far. <laughs> There's no way I'm getting out of here. You are in a valley. This is insane. Okay, I'm just gonna go with the pit. Wait, I need a lot of wood. Yeah, you're gonna have to. Yeah. Gonna really, really crank it on this one. Let's hope he gets this sucker out of the pit. Oh, I'm going to track to swing. Look at that. And it's out. And could it be back on the green? There it, it is. is. Back on the fairway. There's like hot shots golf. Uh, is that the one with the thing that you like? Oh, Spin. like those, like the bar ones? No, it was like a PlayStation franchise. Oh, interesting. I don't think so. Here we come. Oh, oh, and he is. Oh, on the green. Not bad. Not, not bad. bad. Not bad. Quite a putt ahead of him here. Now, even if he maxes this one out, I don't think it's gonna reach. Look at that. Looks like oh! it's curving toward the hole. A very oh! impressive. Oh my gosh! Okay. You can just lock it. There you go. Tap in. Bogey. A classic bogey. Check it out. And where are we in the standings right now? What can you give us a score update, Bayman? Uh, we got 34 to 27. Okay, so slightly pulling away there, but you know there's oh, still we tied a hole. on that last hole. So, yeah, you know. so a lot of holes left to play here. Plenty of time for a comeback. Oh, and a terrible out. shot by Lousy, whatever that. Look at that. Lousy Look at Larry. that. Lousy Larry with a lousy shot. A protege of Tiger Woods. Now that's an approach. Now that is a beautiful approach. And let's see, here is where the short game comes into play. Just a small chip from off the green. Should do good. And it seems and like that's it has. beautiful. Yes, nearly a hole in two. All right, and this for par should keep him competitive. And what a win. And yes, Look and at it that. just looks like a miss from Larry. Just as Lazzy Larry really shat the bed there. And Haven is dancing he on, the, on the fairway. He needed that one. He needed that one. And a celebratory teleporting around the field. Look at him go. And He's it's very difficult to understand what's happening. It seems happening. like this is barely part of the game now. Exploring the cart path here. Could a ball get in this area at all? Would like to find out. And it's hard to know where we are at all. And let's get back to and our, the hole. Our golfer is and now in, in the, the water. water. He's Jesus. He's walking on water. He is the Jesus of golf, as he's proclaimed himself. Call him the Jesus of golf. All right, we're back. And we're back. And what hole are we on here now? Get amped. amped. We're on hole uh, eight. Hole Arduous Ridge is what it's called. Hole number eight. So Doesn't coming to good. the end, the front nine here. A lot of work to be done for Peyton, but his game seems to be sharpening as we progress here. Maybe just sort of Maybe dusting just off some Just over did it. Ooh, that sounded bad. I don't like the sound of that. And Nuclear Goose says, classic golf move to take a little dip in the lake. That's why they're there. And yep, absolutely. That's right. if it's a golf... hot day out there. You're going to want to cool down. Make sure you get, you know, keep your body temperature regulated. If these golfers can't stay refreshed, then I don't know why this sport is even broadcast or played. All right, here we go. 
This is a big ballsy move. Tough lie out of the rough here, okay. and a practice swing. A solid practice swing, implying that he might just have it. Another a one. Second practice swing. Emphasizing just his power. Really making sure, and it looks like a really third scaring the audience swing. with how hard he can hit this ball. If yes. he wanted to. And it looks like. But he's practicing. Four practice, five practice. A swings solid five ah! practice swings. He is screaming at the ball now. And a six practice hey, swing. Here the real one. And here comes the real hit. And, and could he hit uh, it another it. practice swing? Practice swing. <laughs> Classic Paven, never letting us know when he's gonna hit Just it. Just keeping us on our toes. And there's the hit. That was really bad. He really let say. it rip, and we're still. Oh, oh we're like, good. Oh, we're out of the rough. That was a great well, we're out of the, the weeds. Now we're still sort of in the rough. Look at that. And a it's beautiful shot. Just toward the mountains. Where is it going to land? It oh, sounded no. like the rough. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Oh, we are no. deep in the pit. How am I going to get out of here? <laughs> and we got a, about a four foot wall. <laughs> this one's tricky. You're really going to have to get under it. He's bouncing it off the oh! backboard. You hate to see that. <laughs> it's out. You really hate it's to see that. It certainly is out of the pit. Okay. That was so great. Now, an that interesting tactic to bounce it backwards to get out of the sand. And track. you can hear his exclaim saying he's loving this, actually. And now an easy shot back over the sand trap. And on to green just close. barely the just green. Just shy of the green. Pretty and now it should though. be a pretty simple approach just a little tap to get on oh i always tap it and, and it's he like, cranks it <laughs> no crank. did you see my that's not a crank he absolutely punches the ball a little further than he has to and wow. now he's got to save himself with the short game here really try to salvage what's left of this hole opting to go just wide and short oh, fuck. Just landing right and below. He goes right through his feet. And he's Lousy so Larry's cleat. And okay. now he's going to have to look through Lousy Larry's Larry. body. Just phase through his being. Truly adding insult to injury. And that out just because and of what he did to Lousy Larry. And that just is going to be. <laughs> and he's and murdered he's his to opponent. <laughs> murder his opponent with the golf cart. Right. I haven't seen as heinous a game of golf since. Tiger Woods oh cheated. no! His wife on oh, the green. and that is onto a completely separate hole. The end of a legend. Where even is he? Is he gonna play? It makes it's gonna want to play through. Is it's it still in the playing. country? Beat lousy Larry. Can you throw your club in frustration and then it. have your stepfather crossing his arms in disapproval? I think we have to unlock that feature, and that should be DLC coming like soon. You can throw your club from one hand to the other, kind of. so fast. Which you can do as a celebration if you would like. I think I should do that. That's pretty close. If I learned anything from Happy Gilmore, it is that you have to play it where it lies. Also, I don't. I learned don't mess with Bob Marker. So consider this when you're playing golf. Oh, oh yeah. And that's a bouncer. Went straight up. And we're trying to keep an eye on that and what ball. goes up, folks? And it's hard to say. We're, and we're on the cart path. <laughs> Okay, we're close. And Payment is getting honked at. That's a tricky lie off the cart path. And yet he still has to do his classic practice swing. And this one is looking like it's going. And we're, we've just really been kind of bouncing from rough to right, right now. <laughs> if you just wait a second, it will oh, put you right automatically there. at the hole. That's you just got to not teleport immediately after your shot. But he's just so eager to fly I'm into eager. the sky. And there that's looking like a nice, clean approach. And it's not. It's actually in the rough again. Oh, my God. All right, really soft this time. Here we go. And just the softest and he lilting taps it into the bunker. Into the bunker. <laughs> covering his eyes in frustration. That was a prank right there. <laughs> Meanwhile, Lousy Larry finishing just up his short game. Staring into the void. And can Paven recover? Oh, oh yeah. And he rockets it. <laughs> Into, into the, the other next sand pit. Into the other bunker. No. Oh, impressive for what it is, and yet oh, for the game. A really bold strategy. Truly unfortunate. It's awful. I hate golf, though. All right, that's good. And let's see. That's, that's a good approach. pretty good. Where is, Where is the ball? Okay, not as good as Just a thought. little Holy bit. Crap. Oh, so close. Just shy of being back in the bunker. <laughs> for the, the bunker turkey, as it were. But now we are in the rough, and a small chip should get us onto the green. Whoops. Just a light little tap should just get us right up up to the hole. And let's see if he can do it. And that is not going to be enough. Not even on the main green. But more than that is what you're going to need. And here comes the short putter to hopefully put us out of our misery on and this hole. And we think he's got it. 
and it really just, just coming not short. enough again. And here we go. And this the game is getting even shorter. This is going to probably this must go in. Go in. And, and it there does. It is. A beautiful recovery from a very intense game where it's he went from ouch. one sand bunker to another sand bunker. And what's the score update there, Paven? 55 to 42, baby. All right, so uh, looking like a, over a 10-stroke differential here going into the back nine. Not really what you want to see if you're Paven here, but there's a lot of holes left to be played. Uh, hopefully, maybe Larry, Lousy Larry will... Just continue to shit his pants. Yeah, maybe he'll just... Oh, and it looks like we're on the edge of the and world. And Paven is threatening to jump off of the golf course into the void... Don't do it, you have so much to live for. The fans are telling you, you are truly a golf master. You can do this. You can do this. Yes, Aiden, other than the golf lessons I took when I was in middle school, and I stopped because right. the instructor was hitting on my mom, I don't know much that about sound. golf. That's the sound of what happened? time to go to the next hole. I'm, I can't. And Pavin is being reprimanded by the staff of the Whoa. course. And he's quit the game. I did not quit the game. And he's back at the, the clubhouse. He's in the parking lot. Oh, I see. Front nine. Ah, and that challenge was just for the front nine. All right, I'll do one more challenge if that's all right. Sure. We'll do Moby. All right. And, and Dave will be against... golfing against electronic producer Moby. Yes, who's going by his false name, false name Joe, Joe Duffy. Duffy. Uh, yes, Moby likes to golf under a pseudonym so that he doesn't attract too much attention, obviously, but... Uh, yes, of course. The man notorious for claiming that he dated Natalie Portman. Okay. And a practice swing to start us off. And a yeah. beautiful That's strike. A it's looking like him and Moby are neck and neck right now. Hey, Moby. And has Paven done anything as good as Extreme Ways, the ending credit song of The Born Identity? We'll have to see if he could beat him in this golfing game. And Aiden, I don't have much to elaborate on. The guy was hitting on my Look mom. Look at that! Like wow. Look at that! Another solid strike, a quality approach. He's breathing down Moby's neck. Moby coming up short on that putt. Let's see if Paven can take advantage of that. Shit, I'm in a different... And Zach Fox is now hosting us with 807 people. I know, okay. great! Where is my damn putter? So, and thank you, Zach and thank Fox. Thank you, Zach Fox, for joining us All right, I'm and just gonna use everybody the else. I don't have any other thing. We're right. celebrating the wonderful game of golf with our friend Paven over here. All right, here we go. He's and going up against electronic music producer Moby. Paven oh, choosing to chip it in. I couldn't get my putter back. What just a bold to decision, it? complaining to his caddy, screaming in his face, scaring right. the audience. You're doing good, Patty. We need absolute silence for this putt. And we're going to have to... I have music blasting in my ears right now. It's just absolutely blasting. Are you going to big Par! Woo! And that even is hit par. That's the second part of the putt. Just yes, defeating Moby. See you later, Joe. Sometimes. Uh, we should say that. We and so, to... folks, if you're watching us right now, right. this is not what we usually do. Every Wednesday and Sunday, we are an interactive character comedy stream. Like oh, Blue's Clues, but for stoners. Please check us out tomorrow at 8 p.m. when you see what we okay. usually do. Yes, uh, thank you guys for the raid. Thank you. So Ooh, nice of you. Uh, Zach Fox, back. who might be a comedian, if I think of the right Zach Fox. Well, thank you. Thanks for joining us. Uh, and yes, like Rocky said, typically we are not a gaming stream. We do do interactive green screen comedy sketch show. Uh, check out our clips yeah, if you want to know more about that. Heavy interaction with the chat, your suggestions, you vote in polls, you can pay for sound alerts that influence the comedy as it goes on. You build the world with us. Should we show them our trailer? Uh, if I can find it. I don't know if it is in this setup. But check the red. Know. We might show you a teaser of our show, but we've had folks like Andy Milanakis on the show, Demi Adejigbe, Cole Hirsch from Podcast But Outside. You can see many people from the LA comedy scene hanging out with us on our show, and it looks a little something like this. Everything now! Nah. And it goes something just like that. So if that's something that you think is interesting, <laughs> uh, throw us a follow. 
Yeah, throw us a follow. Follow us tomorrow. Every other Tuesday, we usually do D&D. &D. We're doing that on Thursday this time. But, yeah, hopefully you like uh, what you're seeing. And right now, Paven is still going off against electronic music producer Moby in this golf game. How's it going, Paven? Uh, well, the last one went a little rough. Okay. Um, I got a bogey. But, Folks, you know, it's not a double or triple or... A... Yeah, it could be worse. Could Just be before worse. you raided us, folks, Pavin had managed to get the ball from one sand pit into another, entirely across the green. It was very impressive. Yeah, I've been working on that move. Um, for yeah, quite some it's a time. trick shot. It that goes against the rules of golf and really nets him no points. But the style was so impressive. God, I'm all about style right now. Like, see that? I can get yeah. it right on the The world's brain. first aesthetic golfer, entirely based in yeah, tricks. It matters not what I do in terms of score. All right. In, like, dude perfect style trick shots that yeah, you might see on YouTube. Trick shot. It's going to go halfway in between the edge and the hole. And 20 bros in really short shorts go. and backwards hats are cheering from off screen. I could not be happier. All right, here we go. I'm gonna really crank it on this one. That's in. That that was on! And we're saying it's still going! Oh! oh! Just barely beating Look Moby. That. Look at that. That was bullshit right there. And a clunk. Fucking and bullshit. Moby is gloating. He is smiling. He is ah. thinking about all of the money he made from the Born Identity relax, franchise. So on the farm and <laughs> Paven is now teleporting himself into a nearby farm. And I'm dropping myself down the well. Jumping inside of a local farmer's well oh. where he is surely tainting the ah. water supply for this tiny village. Will they forgive him? We will see. Oh, someone just said something in my ear. Oh, yeah. Sorry this is that. cool. This is cool. Alright. Well, this barn... <laughs> Structural support is a little lacking, but... All right, let's see a good whip right here. And Aiden is asking us, can you do some normal improv after this? Just like some regular improv, the kind you see at a local improv show. And maybe that's an interesting pitch. We're, we're, we're mainly playing on gaming here tonight. Yeah, you want to see a very, a very interesting pitch right here. But thank you for the suggestion, Aiden. Please do check out our show on Wednesdays oh, yeah. and Sundays. You'll see what oh, yeah. we do to the oh, yeah. improv form. Yes, there will be another improv much. comedy show tomorrow night. So We're doing if actual you want to see that, join us tomorrow night at 8 o'clock and we oh, will be here. Plus we got wigs, here, props. Man. We have Nerf guns from the Birthday Boys if you're into comedy. And we use those gladly. Oh yeah. And can you hit the plane pavement? Can you teleport up into the I plane? bet I could go... Wait, I can't teleport right now. I'm in the middle of the hole. No worries. You just keep on beating Moby. And Thank you very much. Murder Stick well says, bless up Moby. fan. Thank you, Murder Stick. And Big Time Rocky just followed us. Oh, that's interesting because my oh. name is Rocky. And yet I feel like I'm very small time. Oh, so. God. I feel intimidated. This is Chris. How's it going? I'm with Chris. the Everything Now Show, one of our five main cast members. Also included are Alex Alsup from BuzzFeed and Cindy Adams, who you might know as Prostitute from Vine. Yes. She's also very funny on Twitter and YouTube. And on our show. And eh, sometimes. <laughs> Don't clip that and show it to her. I'm just kidding. All right, here we go. All right. No, Sydney is the best and probably the funniest on the show. Um, and what a shot. Do we know what the theme for the show tomorrow will be? Can we tell them? The theme for the show tomorrow will be, yeah, I think yeah. we already leaked it. We're doing, a, right we're doing a, another create a character stream where you as the audience pick like a catchphrase, a name, a costume for a character, and you lead them through a series of simulated events. Uh, the theme is create a movie star. So you'll be going through a press junket, you'll be doing a big Oscar winning scene, you'll be accepting awards, you'll be getting canceled, and you'll be speaking with your agent, so on and so forth. Yes. Uh, but you are in the control of that stream. Please join us and have a have a say on how the proceedings go. We right, did this we form a little while ago uh, with Popstar, Create yes. Your Own Popstar, and it was a lot of fun. If you want to check it out, I think it's... it's Birdie! Birdie, you know, Birdie, and there it is. And he's just... I got extra coins for that. Oh, but Moby got a birdie, too. All right, thank you, thank you. Good. Yes, good. please, if you want to see our show, go ahead and check out our YouTube where our VODs are up and running. Yes, all of our VODs are on YouTube. and uh, Except for the last episode, because the WWE is very mad at us. Oh, yes. I apologize for using five theme songs from wrestlers' entrances, but it felt like it was appropriate for the bit. Hello, Shake and Bakey. 
How's it going? Hi, everyone in the chat. There's so many more of you now. Yes, welcome to all of our new friends. Thank you for joining welcome. us. Shout welcome. Shout out to all the Rockies. Indeed, you the guy who created Benny Hanna. Um, <laughs> He's a main one. The guy from Sony. Uh, uh, and Bullwinkle. Bullwin oh. And Bullwinkle. Balboa. Balboa. I got a guy in my... Uh, Rocky is the squirrel, Animal right? Crossing. <laughs> Animal Crossing. And there's a guy in Pavin's Animal Crossing. Oh, Rocket. Land called Rockets. And so that is a different name. It's pretty close. It's pretty close. Though. But I appreciate the thought. <laughs> and shout out the, in the chat with your favorite Rocky. If there are any others. Yes. And if there's a Rocky, oh, Rocky, Rocky Road. Road. Rocky Road. Rocky Road. Rocky Raccoon. Rocky Raccoon. That's a great song. Yes, it is. Bogey. Bogey. And that's <laughs> Whoa. A bogey. Better watch out. Wogey. <laughs> and he hit the Wogey. And this is the type of quality comedy <laughs> content that you can come to expect from the Everything Now show. So if you like this, Please. boy, <laughs> this is going to really well, you love our show. be up your alley. And if you don't like this, so sorry. It's usually much, much better. Much better. I'm not on it. So don't, don't <laughs> worry about that. And we have a shout out to the strawberry hat. That thing slaps tits. It really does. Absolutely. So, Strawberry hat. Thank you and my girlfriend. Are you talking this about hat. my game or? No, we're talking about Rocky's strawberry hat. Oh. And how yes. it slaps tits. I thought he was talking about me. Right, and my up. tits are slapping for that hit. That that was good. And that is one tit slapping approach. <laughs> okay, and check this. So I go. That'd be a good name for a club. Tit slapping club approach. Type. And no, it's just like, and he's got the tit slapper out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and his. Caddy is recommending the, the tit slapper. <laughs> oh my oh, god. Oh, but between the legs. Through the legs of Moby. And that is a true power. And the Dude Perfect it. folks have it, filmed it and Instagrammed it already. Here we go. Haven opting for a power play. Uh, sort of the play. mental game of hitting it between your opponent's legs. Showing Moby that he does not give a shit that he made the Look music for the Born Identity franchise. Uh, sacrificing a stroke. Coming it's in all right, I don't care bonus. about the stroke. I'll prank please this guy wait, any day. Please wait. Okay, all right, so we got a few more, we got two more holes to get back. And I apologize. Uh, what is that, seven points? That's fine. The audience is saying that they are all too horny. Too horny for tit talk. We will and seize with the tit talk. We will right, keep it a hole platonic. <laughs> yeah. We love our viewers like they're our brother. Look at that. And a great first shot. Middle of fairway. Let's see what he can do with this, folks. And he is transcending his own body. Deciding to teleport into the sky. Floating into the sky and threatening Moby with being crushed. Trying to smack Moby around with his now giant oh, golf club. And, and Moby has teleported away to Moby safety. Moby is afraid for his life. He seems to have teleported up to his ball. His days of putting up ambient music online free for filmmakers <laughs> to use are over. And so here comes a second shot. Let's see if he can follow up that beautiful drive. Yeah. Looking good. Going right at Moby. Slightly hooking in okay, to the left. You know, I always like to be in the rough on these, these holes because it makes it easier to get on the green. An unorthodox uh, per, uh, preference, wanting to be in the rough. Look at that. that chip, and what a what an approach. Look at that. Inches away from the pin. This should be a gimme for par. Oh, it's a gimme right here. And if he misses this. Okay, and there it is. And Moby is weeping. And Moby. And Pavin is now sprinting into the water. A celebratory shower <laughs> under the big water tower. Being screamed at by the officials, but no one can stop this bad boy of golf. Surfing the water. And uh, Gumble is asking, this amazing music came with a free game. And yes. Yes, indeed. This slapper, this absolute humdinger. These bangers that you're hearing through your speakers. Did come with the game. Tea time um, golf is what we're playing. This is quality quarantine content we all need. So Look at that. Crazy bat. That Thank is you, crazy I'm so man. glad to hear that you're enjoying it. We are Wallet. happy to keep you entertained in these trying here, times. <laughs> Just because you can't go outside doesn't mean that you can't hit the links. Uh, and have a good time. And have a couple strokes with your boys. With my one boy. With your one boy who is Moby. <laughs> <laughs> who happens to be the electronic music, music producer from the early 2000s. And Moby. it looks like... Wow, is this going to stop? Will it stop? Slowly Will it ever end? Oh, it the does. water and it wow. does. And we're just shy of the pain. Wild. And the most existential Wild. golfer is about to hit it back onto the green. Right. And let's see if we can get this one anywhere near the pin. 
It's looking good. Let's see. Is it going to get onto the and green? We'll teleport closely. And yes, on we are green, on the green. And Moby lips out. This could be an opportunity, a huge opportunity to capitalize for Paven. Let's see. An if absolute he can. L on Obi Moby's head. Wow, oh! and a double lip out. And if Paven can sink this just like that, he may be in the game. Moby may just and... shit his pants. Oh! oh! That was bullshit. Bullshit. That is brutal. You hate to see it, but yeah, still he's coming he in. And oh, now he's physically threatening and Moby. He is trying to bash Moby's teeth in with his putter. <laughs> Truly frustrated. You you hate to see this. He's right of on his forehead. And, and Moby pissed. also revealing he has a single buck tooth. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oddly, he has what seems to be a full set of teeth, except for when he closes his mouth, and then there's just kind of one. Just a big very one. aggressive overbite with a single tooth. Ah, Moby, get out of my face, bro. Indeed, the price oh. is wrong, bitch. The price is Wait, wrong. And a challenge failed. Challenge failed, and Moby is pissed. And Why Moby will make a song won. about this. He beat me. All right, and I think... He alternates between these two... Angry and then smiling with a single tooth sticking yes. out. Moby displaying some sort oh, of... Oh, his mania. eyebrows. Big eyebrows all of a sudden. Oscillating through a very intense mood swing here, Moby. And he grows huge eyebrows. Look at them. Boom. Wow, his eyebrows, yeah, his eyebrows do appear to <laughs> enlarge when he's content. Maybe he's just pissed that his eyebrows are so tiny. The man who last year was collaborating with ASAP Rocky is now losing. Right, I'm going to say green. goodbye, buddy, but, but thank you for the good game. And a good game to and he's, all, and he's shaking. He's trying to shake Moby's hand in real life. And Moby's pissed about and it. Moby is not <laughs> happy. Moby recognizes that it's important to be social distancing right now. A-OK. -okay. A-OK. -okay. See you later. And this just in, Moby just got virtually decapitated. Or at nine. And I'm now level five. I and congratulations, five. level five. And Payment has dinged as a golfer. And just so you all know, I'm going to just show you one more time. That's me. And, and this, that's our and beautiful And this is golfer. the man that you were just seeing golf. And remember, the guy remember this guy home. next time you're out on the lane. The bad boy of golfing. Yeah. All oh, just God. Oh, no. <laughs> and there he is. Get, get, out, get out, out of there. there. Payment, run. Get out of there. He's, get out of there. He's standing he's, he's, down. Oh, he's happy. He's following you. Hey. Okay. Don't wave mind. to him. He, he wants to settle this like he's, men. He's pissed. Get out of there, Pavin. He's staring okay. at you. I'm going to get out of here. Oh, wait. Get me out of here. Just, get, all right. No, 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 no. You're, you're out. All right. Time to relinquish, Pavin. Back in Steve V. I'm right. trying to get out of here. For those 107 of you still watching, Thank wow. you so much for joining yes, us. Yes, thank you for sticking with us. We're oh, hanging babe. out, playing some VR games. That was a that was a wild ride. Good game. I yeah, you did a great job, Payton. Well played. That was a wild ride. Yeah, that lousy Larry. He nice. really you really showed nice. him. I'll see you guys later. And we'll see All you later, right. Payton. We'll Good play some Animal Crossing. Folks out there, how are you doing? Please sound off in the chat. We hope your quarantines are going okay and that you're staying healthy. And I'm gonna do some Beat Saber while we figure out what our next thing we want to do. Jake's gonna is. play some Beat Saber. I might play a song after you. Okay. And do you wanna, Rocky, switch us, uh, switch our game in the stream? Manager? And absolutely, I will. And someone in the chat is saying cancel Rocky. And I'd like for you all to please just ignore this. And please let Hi us guys. know why cancel Rocky. I made oatmeal with oat milk. Whoa! That double sounds the amazing. Double the oat. Double the oat. And what's First the review? Doing this. First time doing this. Let's and let's see, see how it goes. Put some bananas in here too. What a wonderful combination of flavors. Oh, that's good. Yeah. It's a lot of oat. It's a good review on the oatmeal oat. With oat milk and bananas. I love it. Yeah, it's delicious. And we have a heck yes Chris in the chat. Oh, yeah. And you had a cancel Rocky in the chat as well. That's the state of affairs. And that's just the state of the world, it seems. And here I go. That a white man it's like It's going to be me. <laughs> and sound off if we're going to cancel Chris. Well, mo mo Please press 1 if you want to cancel Chris, and press 2 if you want to cancel Rocky. Our poll's up, I'm going to do a poll. Oh, and we're getting a little bit of an issue with our sound here, but hopefully it'll be fine. Uh, I'm going to go with, I'll keep arrows on, I'm going to go on, I'm going to try expert mode on $100 bills. I've never been able to complete it. Today I made oatmeal as well out of oat milk, but I had vanilla almond milk. And bananas, blueberries, strawberries, cinnamon, and chocolate chips. It seems like poles are not up. Wow, this that sounds great. This is apple cinnamon oatmeal, and I made it with oat milk and then put banana in it, and it's pretty damn good. It was really quick today. I didn't realize that. Maybe late Smash Bros. At this rate, X might call back. Oh boy. 
All right, and that, that is going to be a practice. Incredibly hard. And that is actually extremely hard, and you might even call it an expert difficulty. And it is not hard, it is actually expert mode. And thankfully, I'm an expert, and so this one should be a victory easily. And the, the practice is And that one was over. a warm-up, but now I'm three for three, four for four, and this is easy, and I can do it. Jesus, oh, good happening? lord. So he's got two lightsabers. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And there's boxes that correspond based on the colors, but also directions. What? So he has to hit them in these certain directions, rhythmically, along with the song. And actually, missing more than half of these is part of my strategy. Okay, it's a bold so strategy. So it, it seems like I'm fucking up, but actually I'm doing really Jay's well. Jay's actually doing something on purpose And here. failing the level there is actually part of the strategy. And you We're going to see what the long game is here for Jake. <laughs> We're still in golf commentary And mode. part of the strategy is also switching it back to hard from expert mode, and that's going to be key to beating it on expert <laughs> mode, is that if you switch it to hard mode, it actually becomes easier. And a lot of gamers don't know that. A food for thought moment. Chunk. Chunk. And right away I'm noticing this is much easier. It's no longer expert mode, but hard. Jake's just inches away from hitting my face sometimes. Not only on this stream, but in real life. Is making my head hurt. Yeah, Beat Saber is a very intense game to play. If you ever, uh, you should watch Nazy, fellow uh, Twitch streamer, play it. She has the um, augmented reality mode where you can see her within the game. And she plays on like double expert mode or something, and it is very hard to watch, but very cool. She's very good at it. Thank you for following. Joe, Joe Rogan. Rogan. Joe Rogan? Joe Rogan I'm just followed with us. With an H. Joe Rogan with an eight. A classic spelling. It's like Sean with an E-A. S-H-E-A-W-N. And I love the way this song makes you sweep. Swap, swap. Yep, yeah, like that. That oatmeal is delicious. Glad to hear it, Chris. That's my review. I kind of want a snack, Chris. But, uh... I'm trying to intermittent fast now, so eating after 8 o'clock is a no-no. Whoa. I didn't know you were doing that, Rocky. I'm just starting again. I did it a little bit for a while. What was that? And Chris is judging my lifestyle from off camera. Um, I feel hungry. <laughs> And, uh, I don't know, I'm just trying to break my snacking habits in general. Yeah. So, I unfortunately will not be eating ruffles on this stream. Rah! Unless you pay us $100. And... Yeah, you can break in a minute fasting. And Joe Rogan was just taking a break from the podcast to check out some of your comedy. Wow! Joe Rogan's watching you down. And it's right an now. A. And Mr. Rogan, thank you for joining us. Your conversation with Joey Coco Diaz, yes. legend of the comedy world. Well, I love the the sober October group. You guys are all <laughs> hilarious. And uh, we're gonna take some Alpha Brain before we play and, this next song. <laughs> and yes, and before we get into it, I want everybody to know that I've OD'd on Alpha Brain. I my room is overflowing with kettlebells and battle ropes, and that is the reason that I'm gonna wait. I don't want to do this one again. Uh, there you go. Jake looks like the bear Big with the fan nunchucks. Of the the oh, I saw that. Nunchucks. I saw the bear with the nunchucks. I was going around Twitter today. Is that a hot viral video that I missed? That's a hot viral vid. We call that a HVV. <laughs> uh, and that's a HVV that's been going around T. Oh, no, we call it Twitter T. I got some of those. And all I get on Twitter is the SNL sketch. Where... And for me, it's going to be Country Rounds by Squeepo Remix. I love this song. Some of your flavor, flavor, flavor call. Yes. Is that what it's called? It's called flavor call. Chris is asking if you can use my flavor call. The salt they use to make movie theater popcorn tastes like movie theater popcorn. And it'll increase your profits. It'll increase your profits. It says so on the card. It's really cool. In fact, I might show it to you in a little bit here. Yeah, it's definitely a throwback. 
your sales will go up as much as 25% once you treat popcorn as, quote, the specialty of the house, says Flavor Call for Better Taste of Popcorn. That's awesome. And the leaderboards, here we come. Thank you so much, Show and Tell Live, fellow comedy streamers, for joining us. And this is like comedy in a way, where Jake is really giving it his all. Ah, my ankle. The Oculus Rift <laughs> ah. cable, cable is flailing around, really nervously shaking the computer that we use the show for. We all come stumbling down at once. <coughs> well, we're always glad to have you show it's all live. We love that you're doing extra streams as well, just trying to survive out here in quarantine times. Isn't it fun running a show with five people and, all, and having to schedule around everyone's safety and well-being? No, we're doing fine for figuring it out. We've done some uh, call-in streams. We're hoping to do a couple more. Check out our last one. Recently we did uh, presentations. Oh, Jake is crushing this. Yeah, we gotta do a stream together show until live. We'll do. We have some ideas. We'll we'll we'll, we'll hit up. We'll hit you up. Are you on Discord? Hit us up on Discord. I love this, Jake. Just like arms at your side as you're doing it. And a slow jog, a graceful move, and the audience is quietly cheering this. And he's now in a full-on sprint, running through the Beat Saber tunnel. High knees. Bing. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha. Sounds good, show until live. Can we get ha ha's in the chat? Ha, 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 ha. Oh, graceful. Oh, it's still going. So this is a country song? Fuck that one up. Yeah, it's an Irish song. Irish people have country music. Yeah, it's like an Irish folk country ballad. Love it. Song. So it's like Dropkick Murphy's, is that what you're telling me? No, it's more like traditional like Celtic music. Of course, with like, uh, I don't know any Celtic instruments, but. A hurdy-gurdy? I'm sure they use a hurdy-gurdy. And we got Haws in the chat. My peep is red and scaly like a lizard tail. What should I do? Good, good. And sorry, Joe Rogan, about your pee pit. Really sorry. How are you feeling, Jake? I think I got one more in me, but I'm pretty winded. And don't tire yourself out too much. It's 9.30. We can probably play one more game after this. I got, I got one, one more song in me, and it's... And it's going to be this one. We're getting a little bit of audio cutout on this left ear. Okay. So you just gotta, if you kind of like jimmy it, it comes back, but we just gotta be careful. I'll with be it. careful with that, yeah. This is Jake's Oculus. Thank you for letting us use it. Absolutely. Hello. 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 Wow, I'd love to see Connor O'Malley play oh. VR. And this is intense because we can only see you looking down. We cannot see what's coming. Sorry, I will try to look up. It's okay. It's for it's for your purposes only. Oh my god! That's how we gotta figure out this uh, augmented reality mode. Bonk, bing, bing, bonk. And I'm gonna confirm who Zach Fox on on Twitch is. still being hosted by him, and holy shit, it is indeed comedian Zach Fox who oh, hosted no us. Why did that happen? The guy from the cave? I'm pretty sure. Hold on. 11,483 followers. Instagram. Good follow there. Didn't right also, here for Eric Andre? Yeah, didn't he have a hit rap song also about having depression? Yeah, that was on his Kenny Beats the Cave episode. Yes, yes, sure. yes. 
Shout out mental illness. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Shout out mental illness. Pretty sure that's, that's, that's the Zach Fox, yeah. Oh shit, that's dope. If you're coming here from Zach Fox, tell him in his next stream that we love him and please write us and again. And fans, also, yes. we'd love to collab and shout out mental illness. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try this one more time. If I fail, I'm giving it up. All right, sounds good. Yeah, that's wild. How did that happen? Just truly curious on how he found us. But thanks for those who came over with us. Make your movements here are so haunting. And I almost want to get rid of the game feed and just zoom in on Jake dancing here. I feel like that'd be much more interesting. You folks out there playing Animal Crossing. I need to stop. I'm better at doing my errands in the game than in real life. Good fuck. Oh, this is awesome. This is a good path. This part's hard! Yeah, this seemed very hard. Alright. Gay porn hard, as they say in Goon. Excuse me? Woo! I put too much of the flavor call and it's so salty. Oh, it's oh, really yeah, salty. Yeah, we've done that. Yeah, accidental, too much salt. Might have to try one. GG's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A GG. Let's swap it. To Jacob. A GG's. Thank you. What should we play after this? After this, we could do some Alex, we could do Ooh, some... Alex, I haven't played Alex in a minute. You should do one of those free games. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. we got some new free games. I'm done to try one of those. Okay, hey everybody, it's your boy Jake from the Oculus a minute ago. From the island. I'm just sorry. And we got Rangi Okay. the Oculus. Which of these... Ah, the song Beat Saber in the game Beat Saber. Which ones you, have you played? I played Breeze, Hundred Dollar Bills, and Country Round. What's a commercial pump? Breeze is the one that I was not able to beat on hard mode. Okay. I'm gonna play... Breezer, I should say. Did you do this one? No, I have not I like this song. Should I try Expert? Expert is very, expert very is hard. Expert is Expert, yeah. Alright, let's try hard mode, I guess. Oh my gosh, we're in it right now. Oh, this cable is just really up in yeah, our business. Yeah, the cable is fully there. I missed that. Wow. Okay. Oh. And so again, if you're just joining and us, failed. and there's a fail. And Woo! that's the practice one. Uh, but this is not our usual stream. <laughs> We do not usually we play video games poorly. We a PR gaming stream, although we are quickly becoming one. Um, but we do do sketch and improv Jesus. interactive green screen comedy where the audience gets to basically decide what happens. Um, and we don't have a super great example of that right now, but if you check our clips and our videos, uh, and that's something you're into, then on every Wednesday and Sunday, we do that show. It's a good time. But tonight, we're gamers. And we have one objective, and that is to friggin' game. And Rocky is doing a really good job of that right now. Clutching it up. Nice, nice. Beautiful. Watch out for the bombs. Jesus well Christ. Oh, I missed that one. Let's just take a moment to appreciate this great song. Uh, 
I wonder if these songs were commissioned specifically for this game, or if these songs existed and the game licensed them. It's unclear. This is looking like a really good run, Rock. Oh, shit. And so I'm going to ask the chat what they would like to see, too. Let's get their input. Um, we don't have a ton of VR games right now, but we do have we have the new Half-Life, Half-Life Alex, uh, which is really fun. Rocky and I have been slowly working our way through the campaign on that, uh, on different save files. Um, but we also downloaded a couple of new free VR games off the Steam store. Oh! Oh! Uh, well played. That was exhausting. How you holding up? That was hard mode? Good lord. I miss Guitar Hero. And Rock Band. Well, great. Yeah, let's play a different game. We have a game called Hand Simulator that seems That's pretty cool. That's very funny. I like that. Um, if you want to try that, it's in, it's in Steam. Sure. Let's see, how can I get that? So we are, gonna, oh. we are gonna work our way over to Hand Simulator, which is, I think, like a... Yeah, you're gonna wanna go to uh, Steam VR. <laughs> it's sort of like a, it kind of looks like Rust, Okay. if you are familiar with that game, where you're just kind of like an island man with nothing, and you have to, like, go That's on this mean. island and basically, like, survive. What am I but an island man with nothing? Um, did it crash? I might have to start it from the mm. computer. Sometimes it gets weird if you try to start it from inside see. the yeah, office. No worries. But it kind of seems like it's working. No, okay, it's crashing. I'm back in. Okay, I'm going to try to fix it. Okay, should I play like space parts? Um, um, just hang out. Joe, right where's my room. living room? I wish to be in my future if living you want, room. If you go to your object, there it is. Now you're in it. Who claims to close it off? Um, how do you get rid of this? You're start the game. Oh, there you go. Let's Ooh. see. There we go, uh -huh. and we're money. It's gorgeous. Look at the sky. I'll miss the sky. So this upcoming game, uh, we also have this wizard game that we haven't tried yet, Walt Wizard. Um, okay. Oh, where's Hand Simulator? It's not on there. Um, I think we don't have Hand Simulator. Do you want to try this magic game? Uh, Waltz of the Wizard? Yeah. Let's go for it. Alright, we are going to not try Hand Simulator, but instead we're going to try Waltz of the Wizard. And I don't know what it is, but it was free on Steam. Oh, wow, it is glitching out there. It is glitching, and I don't know what that is. Um, hopefully it works. I like that. See? I'm going to pull up the stream. My favorite Disney movie, Alden. Okay. Whoa! And is this a scary game, Jake? Did you? Did I you don't think me? this is a scary game. I think this game is kind of like a Harry Potter type. You're like in a wizard thing, and it says get, get more, more spells. spells and secrets and fun with the new Waltz of the Wizard Extended Edition. That Find sounds like it money. In the store. I don't I'll take that. this knife and slit my throat. Let's enter. Let's okay. become wizard. I'm already freaking out. And if anybody in the chat is familiar with this game, please let us know. Otherwise, we're going to be... Oh, this is great! I'm like a little magic guy. And we're in a cute little magic land, and you've got a crossbow, and immediately shooting yourself in the face is the choice Rocky is making. Harry? Did he call you Harry? I heard something. Oh! Shoot that guy. I feel like I'm in like a Disneyland like yeah, attraction. Yeah, this definitely feels... And the, the trailer for Waltz of the Wizard is playing behind me on a magic screen. Oh, that's really good. I killed a rat. Excellent. Oh, I'm so sorry, Aiden. I'm so sorry. Please. And hello from Portugal, says... Hey! Says, Cudepexe. Please tell me how to actually say that name, because I'm almost positive it's not Cudepexe. Oh. oh, there's a Glock and Spiel. But I'm going to call you Cudepexe for the time being. And hello, Portugal. How are things there? Are you guys staying safe and healthy? Wow, Rocky, I didn't know you were such a glockenspielist. I would love to have one. That's fun. Oh, no! Okay, uh, cool. No. So what is this thing? Oh, my and God! Oh, that. shit! Whoa! Nice. And now you are a Jedi. This is Fruit Ninja. 
Yeah. And Ada is suggesting that you put a glockenspiel on our Amazon wish list, and then we might <laughs> own one. purely for my own entertainment. Just so that Rocky can play it. I assume you would have to play it on stream. I can play it on stream, too. Sure. I'd love, love to be a guy who's not good at glockenspiel. Yeah, that, that seems like a guy who would fit in at one of our talent show formats. Yeah. I still meet you. Oh, of oh. course, in pay to play. Game! Look that they put it on the table for you to grab just to say, actually, you have to buy this. And now I'm peeing my pants because of this. What else can you do? Can you use that quill? And that's also oh, extended. Can I play really chess? do not want you to play anything for free. Collaboration with post both on I will not put a rejection spell They had a certain election problem already. All right, man. This guy's talking to you. He's saying some weird. He's shit. talking mess, but I'm playing chess. Well, Aiden says honestly, I feel like y'all could find a lot of ways to incorporate a glockenspiel into the show. That's fair. We can do like a whole week where we just do shows centered around a glockenspiel. That's true. And uh, she's also, uh, they're also suggesting that cool. we change the category cool. of the stream, and what we definitely should thing? do that. And I've already forgotten what this game is called. Uh, Waltz of the Wizard. Waltz of. The Wizard. Thank you. George of the Jungle, Waltz of the Wizard. Okay. And the category just... is changed. Thank you, Aiden. Oh, there's two. Thank God. Hopefully we are now the number one Waltz of the Wizard stream on Twitch. I don't know if we are. I'm going to take a look. If we weren't already, this Glockenspiel solo should put us up there. Won the election. It's got Let's see. And it is saying that no live channels are currently playing this game, which is false. Because we are playing this game. Impressive blockage field technology. This game is really shaky. I feel like I have no bearing on. What? Skull Man. Can you talk? Can you talk to him? Hey. And he's giving me nothing. Oh, stop! Here we go. Dang, Rocky's pretty good at the glockenspiel, says Aiden. Hey, thanks very much. Oh, right. Oh, it's in the extended version. You are just getting owned at every corner. All right, Jake. What sounds good here? Magnetize, miniaturize. Oh, supersize. supersize. Do that one. Do supersize. Let's get a big. Oh! Oh my god. I hate what this can game. you do in this game? <laughs> nice try. Oh, you think so? You, you think that's funny? Yeah, drown is that so funny? Waterboard that skull, Rocky. I wish there was like a sound effect or something. Yeah, he seems pretty fine with it. Oh, can you pick up that trumpet that's under the table? Excuse me? Oh, hell yeah. Here we go, and now it's time to jam out. Five, six, seven, oh, hold on. And now, now we are jamming, ladies and gentlemen. Is this the new Ariana Grande? Can I double fist like a marching band? Oh! <clears throat> you just knock over. Snow globe? Whoa, hold on, it's telling me. Oh, you have to play the All song right. of the of the people. <laughs> Can you see that? It's really stupid. Uh, oh yeah, I know. You saw that? That would be is that real, man. Did we unlock it? <laughs> Did we win? Oh, Oh, look at that guy looking in. Has that guy always been there? Get your gun, shoot that guy in the... Oh, you got his ass, Rock. That's pretty satisfying, I'll admit. Nice. Oh, now he's just got an arrow sticking out of his face. It seems like we're just in a demo of this game. Yeah, but, this is uh, definitely not the full game. Although, are there any fans in this game that can tell us if we're missing something? Aiden says, I feel weird that I just became legitimately invested in this game. And... I'm just kind of goofing around at this point. What else do we got? Polymorph. Oh, yeah, right. That's not None part of the game. that stuff works. 
How, throw some stuff in the pot. See if you can make a potion. Okay, that is good. And some red. Oh, try another ingredient. Oh yeah, this is coming together nice. How about some of the purple stuff? Oh, it's green. There are three types of ingredients. One of each. Okay, great. Okay. Uh, oh, so one of that. One of that guy. Oh! Okay, interesting. What is this? Conductor. What is he saying? He's told me to put take these things. Oh! Give me. Grab your broom so you can play Quibbage. I want. Oh, oh cool. So I am kind of conducting. Great. Oh. Whoa. I'm like the magic man. Oh, shit. Am I hitting someone? Yeah, nope. I think it's Chris. Whoa, he conducts and he plays at the same time. Have you ever seen a conductor play the glockenspiel? A true maestro. Oh, there's massive gongs, too. This guy's like a musical wizard, also. He's like Philip Glass. Did anyone like that reference out there? Shout out in the chat. Shout out in the chat if you liked that Philip Glass if reference. If you're a glass head out there, glass shout head. it out. Sound off. And this is the soundtrack to Kayona Stasi. This is looking pretty good. Yeah, I'm liking this. He said, how creative. Drink up, buddy. <clears throat> so what happens if I do a little bit of that? Shut up, man. Jeez. Okay, that's gotta be something. Weightless. Oh, please let me float. Okay. What is what is weightless right now? I'm not entirely sure. That yellow thing? If this was Alex, you could grab it. Finito! Expel the Armos! Dumbledore! Oh my god. You just own that guy. This is my office, man. Don't tell me what to do, okay? It's a crossbow. It's tracking your eyes. I have too much fun with this. Oh, I like using him as a sample. It's a creative instrument. Yeah, I like found art. Ay, ay, is what he says. And that's how I feel about this game. Ay, ay, ay. All right, cool. Let's try this one more time. We're going to put an eyeball in there with a little bit of the green. And then shh. And oh, shooting him while you're holding him is an interesting. It's like a John Wick move. How many can I get stuck in him? It looks like they despawn after. Oh. You have to unlock the full game to keep the arrows in his skull. I'm sorry if this gives anyone nightmares. And if you're just tuning in, this is Waltz of the Wizard, and we're playing it the correct way. Okay, is this different? Okay, the magic is coming. Oh, right. go into the ghost vagina. Let's do it. I've been training for this. Uh oh. Whoa! And we actually progressed into the next part of the game. Finally, coins. Careful. I can't pick them up. And will they let me? How do you get off this scary as shit bridge? Well, let me move. You can only look around. And this is a true gamer moment. Uh-oh, I'm having a heated gamer moment, guys. 
Just uh, try to know. do some magic. I don't know what I'm gonna do, or what I'm Use capable of. Use your conducting of. magic power. Uh oh, another ghost vagina. Crawl into it. I want the putty. Crawl into the womb of the ghost, and we're back in this room. <laughs> what a stupid and thing! And what happened. a cool cutaway. What a sick cutaway that was. I was getting some work done in the other window, but did someone say ghost vagina? And yes, Aiden, we just had to transport ourselves through one in order to get to some bizarre bridge cutaway that didn't actually turn out to be anything. But luckily Rocky is back here and he's shooting the giant guy in the face. Just something. I can't pick up the rat. I'm sorry. The rat is unpickupable. I tried. Just pick, poke, hey, hello. That's the thing. That's on the game. And there goes that guy. I'm not sure what else to do here, Skull Guy. I kind of, uh... Okay, that disappeared. Wait, okay, that's disappearing. Oh, whatever I touch, it just kind of... It tran... I see. And I guess this is interesting. My power is to turn things into birds. I think this might be Waltz of the Wizard. And that, folks, is a Waltz. Oh, I could just, I could have done this the whole time. With a wizard. Can I change, I need to get rid of this. And ladies and gentlemen, if you're just joining us, I'm Jake, that's Rocky. Hi. We are two parts of Everything Now show, of which there are five total people who make a comedy live stream, interactive, chat, focus, show thing. And it is every Sunday and Wednesday. And right now, it is not the show. And right now, it is actually a video game stream. Because Rocky and I are trying to become gamers. And we're so, trying to become Ninja 2. And this is actually our road to becoming the new Ninja. And we are going to hopefully one day murder Ninja. Uh, and, and wear his skin together. And hang out with his wife. And hang out with his wife. Slash manager, as far as I know. Uh, so... You caught us on an off day. We are not gamers yet. We are hoping someday to become gamers. Uh, but right now, this is gaming. But if you don't like gaming, and you do like comedy, or even if you do like gaming, and you also like comedy, or even if you like gaming and you don't like comedy, check out our shows on Sundays and Wednesdays, or check out our VODs, which feature content from our shows on Indeed. Sundays and Wednesdays. We also have highlight reels of previous episodes if you do not want to watch a full two-hour stream. <clears throat> Great, I'm going to leave this game. Okay, and Rocky is going to call it quits on <laughs> nice Waltz of the Wizard. I feel like we gave that one a fair shake. I think so. It seems like it was a demo, which makes sense that it was like free. Um, is there any, are there any Waltz of the Wizard heads out there telling us that we didn't do the right thing? Waltz of the Wizard heads, please sound off in the chat if you're a head. Uh, so we got a couple other games here. We've got uh, Super Hot. Super Hot. We've got Air Car, which is just kind of like you fly around. There's not really a game component to it. The car's in the air, as far as I know. Uh, of course, we also have Alex um, oh, and Google God, Chrome. Uh, we're coming up on two hours here okay. of our stream, uh, which is fine. We don't really have a strict cutoff time. Yeah. Typically, our, our comedy shows last about two hours. Um, oh, this is a space pirate. Yeah, we have not played this one on stream yet. Let's do a quick round while we decide which one we want to do next. And we're going to load up some space pirates. So, uh, if you're in the chat, if you're just lurking, oh, don't we can go back into rec room. room. We could go back into rec room. That might be the There's move. There's a lot of games in rec room. That might be the move. I want to play some paintball. Okay. All right. Let's do it. All right, Rocky's going to jump into rec room. Rec room, for those of you that don't know, is kind of like... Um, like a multi-game pack. They've got like a bunch of different multiplayer. It's also games. like a like a VR chat room kind of. Yes, and it's populated mainly, it seems, by Tweens. like pubescent children. A lot of uh, Gen Zers. Um, so hopefully we can learn a little bit about their culture and maybe try to bring some young children into the stream in a totally platonic and non-creepy way. Yeah. See if they're into 
niche improv comedy on the internet. Which way am I facing? Am I facing the right one? You are currently facing, uh, like, the hallway to your bedroom, basically. Gotcha. So and Jake is doxing me on camera. And, yes, and if you were to break into our home, you would know exactly where Rocky's room you is based on what that I'm, interaction. What I'm facing, exactly. All right. Welcome to Rec Room. Great, thank you. The virtual uh -huh. social club uh -huh. where you play with friends uh -huh. from all around the world. Great. This is your dorm room. Uh -huh. And Aiden has a question for Rocky. What's up? Uh, it's what does it mean to wrangle lawns? Oh, and that is a reference to Rocky's gamer tag. Well, Aiden. Uh, I'd like to walk, please. Pick which way you'd like to move. It's a reference to the Wes Anderson movie Bottle Rocket. I wish it was a cooler answer than that. It's just a play on the title, the the, 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 the Lone Ranger. Yeah, that's me. And there you have it, folks. It's a movie ref. It's a hot movie ref, and my mouth is moving along with my guy. That's great. That must mean your mic is on. Uh-oh. Which is probably fine. Uh-oh! Uh, yeah, bald top hair. You're got looking cool. Hair. You got a cool orange shirt and some matching orange hair. I like a hat. I like and thank you to the 56 oh, viewers God. who are still sticking around. You're kidding me. Who are, I guess, mostly lurkers, unless that's not true thank and you. I need to refresh the stream. Yeah, maybe. But, uh, thanks for uh, but it folks. seems like there are still somehow like 60 people Absolutely watching this. Absolutely asinine. So shouts out once again to Zach Fox. If you came here from Zach Fox, that's awesome. So ridiculous. Uh, Zach Fox is great if it's the Zach Fox that I think it is. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, and thank you for joining us tonight and for sticking around if you have. I look like um, a narc. This is good. Yeah, that's a good narc uh, costume Risky. for sure. Oh, hell yeah. Um, like Rayman. If you prefer to lurk, that's totally cool. Yeah. But also, if you want to chat, hey there, says Max the Kid. Hey, Max the Kid. Hi welcome. there. Thanks for um, joining us. Yeah, and, uh, you know, check out the stream. It, it requires a lot of interaction usually, but, you know, we don't put anyone on the spot. It just gives you a chance to be funny and have a chance, you know, have a hand in writing the show as it goes on and Create chaos with us, as it were. Absolutely, for sure, yeah. On our normal show, our normal improv show, it's like super interactive, so if you it's do so like to chat, to do uh, you come to by. Start? All right, I wanna play paintball. Mom, I wanna play paintball. We're gonna try out some paintball. Team battle. So this game is like a FPS Welcome for little paintball. kids. But it, it works basically like Halo, where there are weapons that are sort of scattered around a map that anybody can get. You start off with a basic pistol. Um, Great. This is... Is this captured? Oh, excuse me. Is this capture the flag? I believe so. Are we playing already? Or is this like a lobby? No, I think you are in the game. Oh, shit. This there should be like a pillar of light is... uh, of the red flag and the blue flag like shooting up into the sky so you can sort of see where the flags are. Unless this isn't Capture the Flag and it's just Team Deathmatch. It might be Team Deathmatch. Um, but you are blue, so you are looking for red guys to shoot. Uh, Max the Kid is asking, have y'all been able to meet in person at all to do improv? And yeah, so... Uh, three of us live together. Three of us live together. Myself and Rocky and Chris all live in one house, so we can do stuff here. But we all went to college together, and that's actually how we met. So we met doing improv together in person uh, and we did that for like three years in college uh, and then after college we started streaming and so typically we are all in the same room for our shows obviously with the virus and social distancing uh, for the past week-ish, two weeks um, we've been experimenting with some new improv formats that uh, involve like Collins. remote streaming, yeah Colin, so Alex and Sydney who are the other two members that can't be here uh, because of the quarantine, they have been calling in, uh, and we've been experimenting with that. But hopefully, by the end of next week is what we're hoping, we will at least, we're still not going to, usually we have guests on too, where we bring in people outside of our core five to come in and play with us, um, but obviously we don't want to be spreading the virus or anything like that. So I think next week we're going to try to bring in our core five for in-person shows and not do guests. Uh, but obviously, you know, we're just kind of playing it by ear. It's hard to tell what is the move in these trying times. Um, but yeah, honestly, I would love to get more, like, new guests that maybe have not had, would not have a chance to be on the show in person. 
because of like they're from New York or yes else absolutely and if anybody in the chat or anybody here knows of like comedians or people on Twitch that do comedy or you don't do comedy right now but you think are funny that might be interested in doing improv we love to collaborate uh, we would love we're, we are like still even though we've been streaming for two years we are still kind of Twitch noobs uh, in terms of like knowing the space and other streamers on the platform um, we're definitely gonna go to TwitchCon uh, get Bastiat as a guest. Oh yeah, I've seen that guy. Who? He's, I don't know if I'm pronouncing their name right, but they are a, like, politics streamer. As oh, yeah. As I know. Totally, yeah. They said Bastiat, um, like the... Basquiat, the artist. Like the, the, dead, the dead artist. And uh, that would be cool, too. We could get either of them. I would them. love to get him, yeah. But, yeah, I think Aiden talks about uh, that other person a lot. Um... Uh, they're also, Aiden is also suggesting someone called Rariest, uh, Rariest Pepper, who is not a streamer, but he calls into a lot of shows and he's funny as fuck. Okay, cool. Well, yeah, I mean, being a streamer is definitely not required. Most of our guests that we've had on the show have never streamed before or don't even really know what Twitch is. Usually the people who come on our show are more from, like, the comedy theater world than yeah. the streaming world. Improvisers and such um, media. So they'd be right at home. But we're also looking for streamers who maybe haven't experimented with improv uh, as much, but are, like, Sushi Dragon, for example. We had the Sushi Dragon on uh, a little while ago for any of you guys who are familiar with them. Girl Yellowstone. Um, and he was great. He's super funny. If yeah. you don't know the Sushi Dragon, I don't know what you're doing because yeah. he's like he's huge on the platform the and biggest. gets promoted by Twitch a lot. Um, but he came over. He was super funny. Uh, Girl with the Yellow Spoon, Spoon is another great example of a streamer who's come on without mm. like a super prolific improv background and was able to do some really funny shit. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we love to collab, we love to meet new people, uh, and we love to game, and we're gamers right now, and Rocky about to hit him with the quick snipe, with the quick scope snipe. The sniper is so hard. I'm going to do some game. 360 no-scoping here real All right, quick. Prep for 360 no-scope, Rocky coming in clutch Get with the clips gamer ready. moves. Yes, prepare to clip. Rocky is about to drop on them with the hot firing bombs of a thousand I'm getting higher ground. This is just like Apex. Yes. Rocky now in tune with his Apex skills. And there's a snipe. And what a what shot, What can I Rocky. say, guy? I'm sorry. And 360. Absolutely owned. And there's no coming back from that for that guy. And I'm assuming he's probably throwing his uh, Oculus Rift in the garbage. <laughs> just after screaming that. at his neighbors and roommates. Uh, wow, so it's a, a GG long... to that guy, and let's see if we can find another guy for you to shoot. Yeah, that's a pretty, uh... I'm hearing shots being fired. Oh, and there's a guy, and another hit, and Rocky's Sorry. on fire with the sniper right now. No problem for him looking through the scope. Let's see if he can, can go three for three. He's hearing people for sure. He's keeping a good, good eye on his flank, which is obviously pro gamer strats. It's in his blood. He sees a guy. We saw a guy go into that building there. It's looking like a grenade went off. For some close quarters combat. Oh, looks like that guy's already dead. Um, interesting maneuver here. I like ducking behind the counter, really trying to shrink your hitbox. We see another guy walking past. Oh, and domed as he walks through the door. Absolutely wrecked with the no scope. Rocky on fire now, three for three. Can he go four for four, folks? Oh, oh. Under fire, oh, and bad teammate. Uh-uh, uh, uh not this time. Finally takes Rocky out, but not before a four kill streak. Yeah. Now going akimbo, dual wielding. And, and it looks just... like he's trading with the Asian man. <laughs> uh, oh, well, his name, now. not mine, did not say that. He got cocky, says Max the Kid. And that is true, that's part of the game. Unfortunately, sometimes your ego does get the best of you, especially when you go on a sniper spree like that. Yeah, I should not be trusted with a sniper. But now, like... luckily, the Asian man has humbled Rocky. And... Right. Oh, 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 oh! Did I get him And also? the Asian man again, and it's gonna be another Respect. trade. Respect. And so, quickly, a, uh, a bit of a rivalry being established between Rocky and the Asian he man. and an Asian man. Who'd have thought? Rocky choosing to pick up a grenade here. I'm now, sure the tricky thing won. about this is that you okay. usually hold your gun in your dominant hand, which means that you're holding the grenade in your non-dominant hand, which makes it kind of hard to throw. But let's see how Rocky handles it. He's got a grenade in the left hand, shotgun in the right, looking pretty good. See well, if he like... can find an enemy. And there's one. Shotgun probably not going to do it at this range. Let's see, maybe a grenade lob is going to be more. And a really weak toss. 
that's what I'm saying with that, that non-dominant hand, trying to cock the shotgun, not necessary. But for aesthetic value, we're gonna try it. And now Rocky looking for some unsuspecting target to take down with his shotgun, opting for a close range weapon here. Let's see if it pays off. Looks like he's taking some, he's got some shots coming in on him from up above. Oh, and there's a kill before he's taken out once again by the Asian man. <sighs> My race is really betraying me here. And Max the Kid is suggesting that you maybe try a Terminator reload. I was absolutely going for that. And that is, that's the one hand you, you cock the whole gun with one hand, is right? Is my mic that, on enough? That you, that. Can, can the enemy hear me? The enemy, I believe, can hear you after you kill them. I got the end kill. I was just going to say, if he knew that I was Asian as well, maybe we'd team up, despite the fact that we're well, You're about to go into a lobby where I think you'll be able to talk to everybody. Hi, I'm Asian. Hello, I'm Asian. Hi, I'm Asian. You're, you're loud. <laughs> I'm just reminding you of the fact that I'm Asian, uh, and good game, yeah. and GG's, and uh, hello to you, and uh, hi, hello to you. Okay, he's disappeared. Hello. Hi. And Rocky and doing GGs. some Asian networking. And hello, are you Asian as well? Hi. Hello. And the fellow gamers in the chat, are, in the lobby, are letting Rocky know that he is very loud. Um, and this is good. Good to know. Aiden says, this feels like an interracial dialogue, and as a white person, I will stay out of it. Thank you. And yes. thank you. Our Aiden. stream right now is the parasite of Twitch streams. Yes, and like this is now a parasite stream. Oh, but I do have an episode idea based on Bong Joon Ho's stuff here, so that I will make sure happens by my birthday. Uh, great. I, I mean, I can keep playing this. How are you feeling? I'm Should feeling great right here. I'm enjoying watching you, but if you want to take a break, I'm happy to hop in. I'm having a ball do. with this game, actually. All right, Rocky's game on. I think it's going to respawn you here. Oh, I just had the shotgun. And can Rocky articulate what he just said? Um, I'm assuming that was about the Bong Joon, uh, Bong Joon Ho. Uh, this is about my show Snowpiercer format. idea. The, uh, well, I guess me and Chris. No, well, Chris pitched it, I think. But I want to oh, do I it. I pitched by, it. Oh, Jake pitched it, and I want to do it by my birthday. Uh, and it is that um, our friend Safi uh, is Thomas the Tank Engine, and on the inside of Thomas the Tank Engine, the movie Snowpiercer is happening. And um, that's pretty much all I can tell you right now. I'm currently writing it, making sure that it would become... But that right. idea pretty much sells itself. I mean, you, so you hear that, and, and you say, and this is on Twitch, and I say, yes, it is. And you say, well, I'll shut the fuck up and watch the, the hell out of that. That's what you would say. And Rocky coming at him hard with the pistol. I'm really uh, A slight exchange there. Some shots being uh, fired from both sides here, but it seems like no hits. Jake, I gotta tell you, my glasses are insanely foggy right now. All right, Rocky working with impaired vision. Let's see how it affects his gameplay <laughs> here. EMP'd. Rocky EMP'd a, a, an IRL EMP. I gotta love being VR with glasses on. Rocky, or Aiden says, I'm sure that would be a funny idea, a super funny idea that I would be super excited about if I had seen Snowpiercer. And you're right. You should totally watch If you had seen Snowpiercer, or even if you knew what the uh, the premise of Snowpiercer oh. is, you would be lolling hard right now. And you'd be LMAOing out of your pants. And right you would now. be LMAOing. Just raffling out of your copter. Um, I was just about, can you do dual shotguns in this game? I believe you can do dual of any weapon. Can I just double fist grenades? I believe so. I think you can, with any free hand, you can grab any item. And this guy's coming at you hard with a big goopy gun. Wow, what a grenade throw. By thermite. Uh, my understanding of Snowpiercer is that Chris Evans is on a train with some other people and I think it's cold. It's very cold. They can't leave the train. The train is the only thing that exists anymore. But also, it's it's class because in the front of the train are the rich people, and on the back side of the train are the poor people. It's a lot like Bioshock, but on a train, if that makes sense. Yes, imagine class warfare Bioshock on a train, on but a also train. On the, the train is Thomas the Tank Engine in our pitch. So if you're imagining that and you're not raffling and lolling and LMAOing, then I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, then I think you're just um, not a fan of our show. But no, it's an absurd, absurd idea. I'm about to try and make us execute. Whoa, Rocky dual wielding gets the kill. Another guy right there next to you on your right. Pulling out the shotgun. What's going to happen here? It's hectic right now. Rocky looking for another guy to kill. Is he going to find him? He's already got one kill on this life. It's looking like a good KD spread. Oh, and it's capture the flag, which I did not realize yeah, until just I'm, now. Uh, 
Not doing much capturing. I'm just kind of. Oh shit! And that's a kill. You. And Thermite takes Rocky out of the game, but he's back. Oh, oh, coming at him hard with the shotgun. Did he can teleport? I guess he can. And Aiden is wondering if there are zombies in the no. movie Snowpiercer. No, no the monster Red flag drop. is humanity. And also capitalism, because that's what Bonjour is all about. Um, the Mexican yeah. is suggesting that maybe they are thinking of the movie Train to Busan. Yes, that is exactly the thing. Another Korean film about trains. Fucker! They can this teleport. thermite guy is really, really getting you, and they're I using a just termite piss strat. Asian also. I'm sorry. And maybe some some racially motivated shots being fired in the game. Back. I apologize. I'm just drunk on power. Right and now. Rocky is rescinding his racial accusation, but it may be too late at this point. And wow, this guy is coming in hard with with the big guns. <laughs> oh, and there's a hit. <laughs> oh. Can he follow it up though? Guy behind you. This thermite guy, man. Don't He's get got me your flag. number. Thermite has got your number, Rocky. You're gonna have to figure out a way to stop him. Yeah, I think I just gotta shut the fuck up. Or honestly, not. And he's just gonna have to deal with me. He's just gonna have to deal with it. And right behind you, and and that guy is dead. And he is talking kind of like Buffalo Bill. It sounds like. What the? Fuck? Oh, Rocky's got the big Gooper gun. And yes. And immediately is killed. By Charlie. Oh! And shockingly, there are still roughly 50 people who are watching the stream. In insane. Incredible. Uh, and thank I, you, guys. I love you all. Thank you all for joining us tonight. If we yeah. could get this type of viewership for our actual show, that would be awesome. Oh my gosh, yeah, are you kidding me? Uh, yeah, please come check out our show if you're, enjo if you're enjoying this at all in any way. Yeah, if you like this, imagine it without a video game, and instead it's us wearing silly costumes and doing uh, like comedy sketches based on things that you tell us in the chat. It's a lot of fun. It's a relaxing stream, says Aiden. And yeah, these streams are pretty chill. It's like pretty fun to not be in character for a minute and just kind of be able to be ourselves and hang out and play video games that we would be playing anyway. This is uh, true. Yeah. So these are fun too. If you guys like this, let us know. Uh, we're going to try to do more of these types of streams in addition to our uh, comedy streams. But our bread and butter will always be the Everything Now show, which is our interactive sketch Improv, improv character comedy stream. character comedy stream uh so please if you have not seen any of those do stop in and give it a try uh we think you'll like it and if you don't you can not watch it oh, oh he's teleporting he's teleport yeah that the you can you can also teleport i ah. think i think using your thumbsticks maybe um or like one of the buttons or maybe you have to switch your move. You know how you select yeah, your walk at the from, beginning? From walk to teleport. Uh, you might switch to teleport. Yeah, I really got to gotta nerf that, honestly. So uh, he's respawn entertainment. Gotta and fix this. Max the Kid is asking, do we have a schedule? And we do have a loose schedule. Uh, our comedy show season. is every Sunday and Wednesday at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So uh, we will have one tomorrow night if you want to check that out at 8 o'clock California time. Yeah. Um, and then the Sunday after that. So usually our comedy streams are every Sunday and Wednesday uh, with pretty good consistency. And then on other days, like today, we do gaming stuff. We also have a D&D &D stream that is ordinarily on Tuesdays, but uh, we had to move some stuff around for this Camera week uh, just because of virus-related stuff. Um, but we also do a D and D stream weekly. So if you're into D and D at all, we do a fun D and D stream that's like green screen. Yeah. Yes, Aiden is suggesting that you check out some of our clips if you want a taste of the show. And yeah, some of our top rated clips. We can pull some up maybe after this. Uh, yeah, maybe that might be fun. It's just kind of a way to yeah not have our face in the VR machine. True. For a minute. Uh, oh, I can live like this. Whoa! Nice grenade throw, whoever just threw that. And Rocky's got the big goop gun again. Maxikid says, I've seen a little before. Okay, cool. So you get it. Um, but yeah, it is a fun time. We really enjoy doing it. Yo. 
Oh, we're doing a slam poetry reading. Oh yeah, the slam poetry episode. That was that was a really fun one. chaos. Yeah, with our special guest Izzy, James Beard Award winning Izzy. That's what it was that she won. It's a it's a cooking award. Look it up. Please look it up. Oh, this is gonna be a waste. It's like Apex, where you get a nice gun and you're just waiting around so long that you're gonna get killed randomly. Oh, Max the Kid also does improv. That's awesome. That's Max amazing. the Kid, what kind of improv do you do? Do you do like is this comedy Max from Show and Tell or, Live? Uh, I don't know. Is this Max from Show and Tell Live? I don't. I don't know. This is Max the Kid. I don't think that they are related Max to Show and Tell Live, but I, I don't know. And for that sure. was a waste of that gun. Yes, indeed. Um, I did improv in high school with Max also. Oh, maybe it's the Max from your high school. Max from high school, I miss you. Oh, it is. Wait, hold on. It is actually. Wait, it, 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 is, it the is the Max from your high school or it is the Max from Show and Tell Live? Is this, I don't want to dox my friend Max from high school. I don't want to say his last name on stream. but I, mean. I got recognized. Wait, Max, which Max are you? Are you the Max from Rocky's high school? <laughs> and from when we worked together two years ago. Wow, it's 20. Oh, no, it's Max from Show and Tell. Okay. Course, yeah. Hi, Max. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, right on. What's up, Max? Welcome. Coming in with the alt. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got alts. Don't worry. We, we know how it is. For sure. Well, thank you for joining us, Max. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you don't already and you're in this uh, and you're in our chat right now, go check out Show and Tell Live as well. They also do yes. uh, an improv. They do a lot of stuff like us. We're, we're both sort of branching out during these yeah. times to fill more space. One of the coolest things you guys have been doing is the uh, speed screenwriting. I love that shit so much. Oh, I'm going to have to check that out. Yeah. I have not seen that. I've tried doing some screenwriting on the show before. It is hard, but I love that you guys are trying it. Oh, well, just enough time for me to... Get a quick no scope on my own guy. You win. Sorry, dude. Uh, there's a little shout out for Show and Tell Live. If you haven't already, please go check them out. Uh, if you are into improv or comedy at all. Where's Charlie? He kicked my ass. They do stuff that is similar to us, and we're trying to build build a little improv comedy Twitch community. This game rules. This game right does rules all the time. I better leave. Have a good time, guys. Um, kick some ass. Wow. And that was VR. And I'm gonna take this off so I can let my eyes breathe. Okay. Steamy. And Chris is gone. Yeah, Chris and David went upstairs. I think. That's fair. Oh man. Hi, folks. Thanks for watching. Hey, folks. I think we're going to take a little break from VR yeah. and rest our eyes. Um, oh. oh, man. Yeah, Show and Tell Live out here, also doing comedy. Like, comedy comedy is the thing. Like, a lot of these, a lot of streamers who aren't doing gaming stuff, are, like, in, involve comedy in their streams and are very funny themselves. But to bring, like, you know, blatant comedy ideas and sketches to the to the platform is still kind of fresh and new and many people are not used to it yet so true, respect true. to you for trying that stuff out absolutely uh, uh, and Aiden says something y'all might want to do is see what kinds of things folks from different professions have been doing and adapt uh, to adapt to isolation and basing your shows off that like you base shows on slam poetry readings and high school presentations so it might be good to investigate how slam poetry events or classrooms have adapted to the online format we got to do a Zoom parody episode. I yeah, think. we definitely want to parody like group chats and like yeah. video conferences and stuff. Uh, that really lends itself to the tech that we have uh, to work with for sure. Yeah, I think um, what what could be a good th fun thing to do is like pull people in who are going to perform on the show, but they don't know what the call is regarding. And then like once they're all brought in, we, like one of us is like, okay, guys, this we're going to talk about this. Like, we're discussing how we get rid of the rats in the city and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, that's it's fun. Like, it's like an improv Like an town improvised hall. town hall, yeah. Yeah, that could be one way to do it. Um, sorry to brainstorm on the air. I shouldn't... Yeah, keep that on the down low. Yeah. This is this is gold. <laughs> Not Zoom, the 90s show for kids uh, in Maybe. Mute Monkey. And I love that show. I remember that show a lot. I saw a, post, I saw a post about it on Twitter, and I don't remember it that well. Zoom? Yeah. It was like... Teenage kids who would like show you how to do crafts and stuff. Oh, okay. Um, okay. And Aiden is asking if we saw that Jessica thing, and I do not know what Jessica that is. Jessica, only child. I don't know. Um, Jessica, Jessica. What is Jessica? 
Mexican says they're stealing all of our ideas. And, and you know what? Fair. Uh, I'm honored, honestly. Well, we're just going to have to keep coming up with new ones. Yeah, off stream. <laughs> yes. In our bunker. Um, and Aiden is going to go to bed, I think is what I see. Yes, uh, going to go to bed because it is 1.20 a.m. there. Oh my gosh, that's right. They moved across the country. Yeah. We miss you, Aiden. Yes, we do. Sorry, we couldn't do We're going to try to get you yeah. on remotely, maybe, if you're down at some point. Absolutely. Please do. Um, I'm pretty down to be done, too. <laughs> I'm okay with that, yeah. Okay. I mean, I, we can just turn this off and I'll play Alex. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. I think... <sighs> That this, is the end of the show tonight. This it is another gaming stream. 20, so what's that? It's like two and a half, two and a half hours ish. That's half. pretty good. I'd say so. Um, thank you guys for joining us. Thank you especially to Zach Fox. I know you're not in the chat right now, <laughs> but thank you for sending all of your new people. Um, and thank you to yeah. everybody who came over from that raid, uh, to the lurkers, and to whomever is new that was chatting. You guys rock. Thank you for the follows. Much appreciated. Uh, like we said, I'm Jake, and this is Rocky. We are two parts of a five-part team that does a improvised comedy, interactive character, sketch, character, yes. green screen I'm thing. Tired. Um, so check it out. Uh, we will be doing it tomorrow night yes. at eight o'clock, and we also do it every Sunday and Wednesday. So if you can't make it tomorrow, come by whenever you can. Yeah. Uh, all our we... socials are in our panels below. So follow us on Twitter and Instagram and. Get in our Discord if you want more updates about the actual show. And also uh, ways for you to interact with the show and, like, submit things that will be used in the show. Oh, yeah. Sometimes we do stuff in the show where we'll ask for suggestions ahead of time in the Discord. So if you want to participate and, like, be a part of the show, you can join our Discord. And uh, Aiden is linking it in the chat. Thank, Thank you, you, Aiden. That is um, but yeah, join our Discord. We also just, like, hang out in there and post mm -hmm. pictures of our pets and our lunch and hang out. Goofy um, stuff, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, that's basically it. Buy our merch if you loved us. Please buy our merch. So much. Please buy our shirts. We, we have, have shirts, shirts for sale. We yeah. have button or do we have buttons? I don't know. If we have. We buttons. have. They, you can turn a design into a sticker. So okay, we have that. stickers. We have shirts. I think that's um, it. <laughs> I think that's it. Yeah. Uh, but please buy one of them. Uh, although everyone right now is unemployed, so if you can't afford then our please, merch, then don't buy, don't it, buy our instead, merch. Instead, just watch the show, because that is free, and it always will be. And it supports us. Um, and is there anything else we want to say before we sign off? Uh, no. Join tomorrow. Again, if you missed what it is going to be, it's we're going to create a movie star. So you guys get to customize a movie star with a catchphrase and uh, outfits and stuff like that. And then you get to take them through uh, press junkets and going to, like, like being in their big Oscar-winning scene, accepting awards, getting canceled, Jeez. talking to their agents, so on and so forth. Um, you factor into it heavily. Uh, and so come join along. And check out what the show is trying out with the platform of live streaming and interactivity and comedy. Uh, but yeah, other than that, thanks again for joining us. And who should we raid? I think we're going to raid our good friend, Very Handsome Billy. Perfect. Let's raid Zach Fox. <laughs> yeah, I want it. We'll, we'll find a time to that, raid him eventually. That's crazy that that happened. That is crazy. All right, we're going to send you over to our good friend, Very Handsome Billy. He is a musical mastermind. He plays like a million different instruments uh, all very well, and he's also very handsome. So if you don't God, like music, it's something nice to look at. So pretty. Um, but he's a big sweetie. He's a friend of the show, so yeah. please let him know that we are sending you. Uh, he will hopefully get a kick out of that. And uh, let him know to stop by our show sometime. We would love to like bring him on as a guest or something. Absolutely. But uh, that's it from us tonight, guys. Thank you all for joining. And we will see you all tomorrow. See you tomorrow. 8 p.m. Pacific. See you at 8 p.m. And say hi to Billy for us. I have an idea. And bye. Get us out of here. I have an idea. Oh. Are we out? Uh, we should be out, but let me just end the stream just in case. My